two men. One part. Unapologetically unfiltered. To quote Ridley Squat. Sorry. Ridley Squat. <laughs> it's the Unfiltered Idiots Podcast with Jay and TJ. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Unfiltered Idiots Podcast with me, Jay, and with my wonderful, wonderful co-host, because apparently I got told off last week for calling him old, TJ. How you doing, mate? I'm very well, thank you, and I'm not old. <laughs> Put some sketches today, I think the proof says a lot. Um... <laughs> Sketches right. are like for the young, hip, happening, cool kids, okay? So I can't I've been say told. shit. I've got two pairs of sketches, so I am also old or young and hip, depending on which way you lean, I would assume. <laughs> uh, right, so, uh, welcome. This is episode two on the 9th of the 9th, 2023. Um, so, TJ, how's your week been? I will get into my week after. Um... It's been an interesting week. It's like it's been hot as balls here. I'll be honest with you. It's been pretty um, sweaty. I'm we like. like we've hit thirties. Um, it's been it's been yeah it's been warm. Um, for any if we have any uh, American listeners who want to come at us and go like thirty degrees isn't hot. Um, screw you. We're a country that built our houses for the winter time. Our houses <laughs> are made out of like you know tissue paper um, and like. Uh, paper mache they're actually made there out of brick. american listeners um oh, yeah they're made out of brick and we're designed <laughs> they're designed to stay warm in the winter time but also oh, like yeah. kill us all in the summertime as well um unfortunately we they can't... retain heat yes they, they do heat. yes because you know <laughs> um and so for those three days a year that we actually have a thing called the sun hit this side of the globe um yeah it is uncomfortable um we're not a normal island where it's all tropical and stuff we're a cold cold wet island cold wet island Mate, the amount of rain we've had this year has been <laughs> shocking we haven't had a summer we're getting our summer in september um but you know i mean we shouldn't complain i work outdoors so it you know it's it, it's all good i would hate to be in an office although the office would probably be air cons um but yeah it's it's more it's more of an uncomfortable like sitting in here to stream and stuff is i have two lights three screens pc Fucking the TV, which is when I stream. Off, the telly's on. Yep. <laughs> uh, the, the telly's on because it's like a, I have an image plan on there. So there's just a lot of electronic de electronical devices. That was the correct. Yes. Pumping He's out in there. So He's this room there. is very, very, very hot. Um, ball soup, you may say. Ball soup. Yeah, ball soup. Male yeah. gentleman yeah. in the world. <laughs> but, um, but other than that, yeah, no, the week's been good. I had a good day out today. Uh, went and bought some stuff, Jay. You did. What'd you buy, mate? What'd you buy? So, right. Obviously, for anyone who doesn't know, this here, that cabinet there is, is, is my Lego cabinet. Um, and I've got like, if I move this a little bit over there, you can just see this is like my Batman section here. So I've got the tumbler there. I've got the, just above it, you can just see the bottom of the wheel is the from the new Batman film, the yep. um, the Batmobile. And then obviously I've got some bits. The cowl is there and that got like Gotham City sign yep. there and that. Well, I bought today, to add to the collection, I bought, Ooh. there it is. The Bat Bike, if you will. The, the Bat, the bat, bat Cycle. Bicycle. The Bat, yeah, bat Cycle bat. from the new Batman film, from the R. Pats film. Yeah, and, very good. And I picked up filmed another, in England, kids. Filmed in England, another pop vinyl. Michael Keaton. Oh, yes. The old school Batman. See the light yellow. My see, Batman, if yeah, you will. My, my Batman. Batman. My Batman. Although R. Pats was a good Batman. Christian Bale's a good he Batman. Was. This is the Batman I grew up on um, yeah. with the classic old yellow emblem, which is awesome. So, obviously, <laughs> not going to be buying any of the others of these because the, this film sucked ass. So, um, yes. but that's a different Sad. story for another day. Um, it is. Already had a rant about that, I think, on the other side. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, and yeah, as you say, I bought myself some sketches because, like, you know, yes, I, I, need, I need to walk on pillows because um, I'm getting old. That's what happens. <laughs> when you get to our age, kids, you've got to start looking after your feet, your knees, your anything back. else that really bends. <laughs> Mate, we, so while we were at the place, it's like a shopping precinct, we walked past a couple of furniture stores and the wife was like, come in, come in, like, let's go and have a look at some new sofas. I'm like, all right, yeah, because I'm made of money, but you're all right. Yeah. And then she's in there and she, like, she makes me sound like I'm 80. So really, and the guy's like, oh, what are you after? We're like, we don't really like our sofa because we've got like, it's like almost a cushion back sofa and the cushion's all gone shitty. I mean, we've had the sofa yeah. for like five years now. Um, 
so we want to go back into more traditional style sofa and that and it's like oh look at this one it's got lumbar support and the wife's like nudging me going oh this would be really good for your back and i'm like it's a fucking geriatric old man that i need like you know oh lumbar support although i got in the chair started fucking about lumbar support i was like oh this is amazing i was like oh, oh. but then but then i did i did they did have a an actual proper lazy boy you know like oh. the, the friends where you're like draw yeah i was like oh my god i could literally it rocks it rocks oh. i was like this is amazing then you pumped it back and i was like Oh, it was like yes, two grand. I was like, "Yep, get out, get out of this very, very fucking quickly." Cost yeah, me two thousand pound on one gone. chair. Mike, I was like, Mike. "Jesus Christ!" The white, like you know. But I had a cheap lazy boy for a while that had massage mode and heating. No, which I, I never come... used weirdly. I just just used it to do the mate. I would have been, I would have been straddling that in all kinds of positions to massage oh. my balls. I tell you. Oh, mate, <laughs> mate, I can only tell you how much fun that was. Um... <laughs> uh, so, uh, other than the that, how's, massage, uh, yeah, how's, how's, how's your week been, dude? <laughs> my week has been somewhat similar to yours. Has been it's expensive. So oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I got to be honest. I don't have great teeth, kids, because for some reason I got passed over when it came to um, came to uh, what are they called braces. Yep. So I went, I had I had them all shaved, I was ready to go and get them. All I had to do was wait for our wonderful, wonderful NHS to call me to go to the hospital to have the braces fitted. Except that phone call never came. So Is this now when I'm you were a child, sorry? That's when I was yeah. a child, yeah. So now I'm left with these lovely gnashes. Um, so I went to the dentist on Friday, and after he told my, me I had gum disease, which was lovely, uh, he said, also, you're going to have to have a deep clean. So that's 180 quid, please, plus 25 quid to just come here. And I was like, so I'm 205 pound in the hole now because I never, well, I, I do brush my teeth, but obviously I smoked and I drink and I do all this other stuff. It's terrible for your teeth. Yeah. Um, and then he said, also, you need to go and get an electric toothbrush. So that's another 100 pounds. Uh, then the wife started sending me pictures of mouthwash, which are good for like, uh, bleeding gums and stuff so another five quid then i had to get you know those things that you got when you're in cambridge tps you were getting through, yeah i had to get some of those another five quid and i was like oh my god i have spent 120 pounds on things for my no 320 pounds on things for my teeth do you know you shouldn't I, use mouthwash right uh no i didn't know I, i've right, got okay. this my wife's my, 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 my wife's a dental nurse okay fully ah, fully okay. qualified dental nurse and okay. like well, it's not that you shouldn't use. You shouldn't use mouthwash how you're instructed to use mouthwash. Brush your teeth, use mouthwash. Because once you've brushed your teeth, you then shouldn't eat, drink, put anything in your mouth. For Nothing. like, for, but no, I like for, penis. No, for, <laughs> for like 20 or 30 minutes because it messes with the whole pH balance and everything that you've put okay. in your mouth. Okay. So you then take in mouthwash. What you, you shouldn't even rinse. You shouldn't oh. like take water and, and rinse and spit. Um it's uh yeah so like because yeah it messes with the whole ph balance because you've messed around with that anyway by brushing your teeth and whatnot and yeah you right. shouldn't eat or drink anything i think it's for 20 minutes while they like everything sorts itself back out um mm. something the wife told me um mm, fair enough. so i have to remember that tomorrow uh, later on tonight when i'm putting this vibrating dildo in my mouth again to fucking clean my teeth Mate, i That's love what it's like. i oh. love my electric toothbrush i would never go back to a manual because you can just Tell, t you, you can feel that your teeth are cleaner, in my yes. opinion. 100%. Um, I will say that. I will say that. I bought a Philips Sonic uh, Diamond. Yeah, I've got, or I've got some Oral B something called other thingy majiggy that's got like a digital thing on it. And yeah, yeah. there's an app for mine. Apparently. Yeah, it's mental, isn't it? It gives you smiley faces when you've actually done the two minutes. Does yours vibrate every 30 seconds to tell you to move? Yeah, yeah, corner? and then it, then it tells yeah. you to fucking Just 30 move seconds yeah. for this corner, 30 for that, 30 for that, 30 yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When you're, in, a, when you're in a rush, you're like, this 30 seconds is lasting forever. I think I'm late for work. What the fuck? <laughs> Which means I've got to get up earlier in the morning and not do my usual. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like... Loads of foam just appearing in my face. Like, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, man, dentists expensive as shit. Like, man, well really expensive. Is. Considering it's like, oh, you, like, uh, the, the problem we have is, like, here. So, I'd say my, my wife's a, a dental nurse. Um, a lot of the dentists are now going over to private as yeah. opposed to being NHS. And it's causing a massive problem, obviously, for a lot of people. Because a lot of people can't afford fucking private. No. So they're doing these monthly plans and whatnot and everything. And uh, But, yeah, it's obviously the dentists are all technically self-employed. So my yeah. wife gets it in the ear when they're like, oh, yeah, by the way, your dentist is now going to private. Um, so you're 
obviously if you want to stay with this dentist it's going to cost you x amount and then when people go well i moved to another dentist they're like yeah none of the other dentists here do nhs and if you try and get another dentist in our local area uh you can't get an appointment because no one's yeah. taking on in, any new new patients so then like the staff get moaned at it's like oh, hang on a minute i'm a dental nurse i'm not the dentist the dentists are all like pri- they're they're self self-employed they technically pay pay to use their chair essentially yeah you know with their but they're they're technically self-employed so it's got nothing to do with me we've got no control over what they do essentially where whether they're private or uh, things but it's one of well, those things, like isn't it? a common issue with people that go to um go to any kind of medical thing be it dentists be it uh, doctors or uh, hospitals that they decide that the problem the problem is this nurse is stopping me so yeah. this nurse on on but low it, wages it's, well, it's like everything. You go somewhere and you complain. Unless it's the direct service you're receiving from that person, you're always having a go at someone who is at the bottom rung of the ladder yeah. and it's not there. For, so, like, someone phones you up, or you, sorry, you phone a company up, I've got a complaint about this. Well, they don't own the company. They haven't put in place the company practices. They're just doing their job, trying exactly. to earn their potentially minimum wage just above minimum wage whatever to feed their family pay their mortgage and there you've got dumb asses and i'm going to include i have done this and i'm always there going i'm really sorry that i'm shouting at you but i need to shout at someone and you're the only one here (laughs) and you're listening so i apologize (laughs) but fuck you (laughs) and then i was like like, well i'm gonna have to hang up the phone on you i'm like no, because I'm not having to go you at will you. Listen, you will listen to me. I'm, like, I'm not shouting at you. I'm shouting in general. I'm shouting so that you can hear me, but I'm not shouting at you. And I'm like, it doesn't, it, still you're shouting, sir. And I'm like, if I hold the phone forever away, I can shout, but they don't get to hear it full blast. So maybe this will work. I always do that typical English thing where I go like, Right, I'm really annoyed. I know it's not you, but I'm just really, really annoyed. Yeah. I know it's not your fault, I know, and, and I'm sorry that I'm having a go at you, but I need to vent, and you're yeah, the only exactly. person here. Exactly. I'm sorry, if Dan. You want, put me under the bus. Oh, of course he's busy. Of course he's busy. Yeah. Get me your manager. I want the person above you. <laughs> They're paid to deal with this, and they will hear me rant, or someone will hear me rant because I'm yeah. going to rant. I'm angry. No. <laughs> and then as but... soon as I've had my rant, I'm like, anyway. I'm so, like, uh, yeah. yeah, thank you, because uh, I, I really need to get off my chest, yeah. and obviously now you're going to ignore everything I've said. So, uh, yeah, great. I'm sure I'll have this again with you in about two weeks. So. The one that, do you know the one that always gets me is when you phone up a company, right, and you turn around and you'd be like, right, okay, I need to renew whatever, Sky, mobile contract, yeah. whatever, and you're like, oh, what's the best deal? And they come back and go, ah, well, mm, mm. you've been with us for 4,000 years, mm. you're a value customer, probably shave about a pound off, and you're like, hang on a minute, I saw on the telly the other day, new customers were getting this for like 50 quid less than what you're offering me. And I'm like, how are you looking after new customers better than the existing customer that I've spent thousands of pounds with your company? (laughs) Well, I'm sorry, but this is the best. I was like, well, I'll leave and then come back to new customer. Well, you can't do that because it's in the contract that you need to. And I'm like, fuck off. Look after the people that have, like, you know, that have propped up this business for the last X amount of years. Not these fucking yahoos that are just coming in on the bandwagon now. (laughs) It depends if you're talking. Do you, who do you have your internet with, TJ? Sky. Yeah, I have my internet with Virgin Media, and Virgin Media do the fastest speed round here. Yeah. So when you talk to them and go, I'll go somewhere else, they go, go somewhere else. Enjoy well, your 30 this, meg. This was the <laughs> argument, right? This time, I was all prepped. I've only recently re signed for another year, and I was, I was like, right, we can get. Um, like broadband, uh, like fiber to the door here, yeah. like now, but it's not. Like it's not BT open reach, it's like the like lit and yeah. whoever they are. And I'm like, they're I have no idea. What but the deals they're offering are equivalent to what I'm paying for my I think it's eighty down, twenty up. Um yeah. and I'm like, but they're offering like five hundred down and like a hundred and twenty <laughs> up or whatever it is. It's saying ridiculous. Yeah. But I've also never heard of this company before. <laughs> and I'm like <laughs> It's Dave like, in a van just I'm like, yeah, like I'm like crazy. like if there's something goes wrong, who am I speaking to? Do they even have customer <laughs> services? Like, is it carrier pigeon? I don't know. And so they've kind of got Sky like, well, you can go with them. Yeah. And I'm like, oh <laughs> fucking yeah, maybe it's better the de- better the devil you know. I can stream and do everything I need to do. It might yeah. take me a little bit take a little bit longer to get the boobies on the screen that I want to yeah, see. It's but fair. Fair. I Very know I'm concern. going to get the boobies on screen. So... Like that. Well, there, there's an areola. Oh, yeah. bit of a nipple. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> all right, man. I'm not a fucking dial-up. 
<laughs> so like, ee, 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 ee. it's pixelated. I think, I think, I think it's uh, and no, it's a cock. And it's crashed. It's crashed. <laughs> Bollocks. Bollocks, another 20 minutes wasted. <laughs> I'm losing wood here. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so yeah, we, 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 were, we were, re-went with Sky in the hope that in the next year, BT actually sort out fibre to the door. Um, right. So my old man's been talking about changing his Sky and he goes, there's a company coming in, they're going to be, it's 20 quid, like a gig download. Yeah. I'm like, hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great, but it's, yeah, what is, they, they might like getting you up and running is probably brilliant. Yeah. But six months down the line, if you have an issue, how good is the company going to be then? <laughs> that's it. That's, that's the thing in four it. months. Are you doing anything? Well, this is the thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> there is no one here to answer your call right now. <laughs> how important is the internet in our everyday lives now? So oh, it's like, okay, Sky might not be offering me the best deal, but they have been consistent with me for the last four years. So yeah. that consistency means more to me than the speed at this point. Exactly. And what would you do without that lovely, lovely young lady to shout at down the phone otherwise? Oh, no. Like, no someone's no, having it. No, no, no. Sky, like I say, Sky are actually pretty decent, like, in terms of I, I don't really have many issues here. I had a slight mm. issue a little while ago, but that was that was all dealt with quite quite quickly. But also, the other thing as well is, we with internet, for this country, if you live in the UK, BT own everything, right? Open, yeah. BT own from which own all the lines and everything. And then it's like they sell them off to... Because we can't have a monopoly in this country. So BT can't legally be the only one that offers. So they have to like sell off portions of the lines to Sky, uh, EE, Virgin, yeah. T-Mobile, whoever, whoever. Um because they, like I say, they're not—they own them all, but they're not allowed to—they're not allowed the monopoly of being the only provider. Um, so ultimately, if you have an issue with the line, it's still not Sky or EU. It's it's OpenReach. No. You've got to wait for BT OpenReach to actually go and fix it. So we're shouting at the people on the other end of the phone. They ain't got no control over it, and it ain't even their bosses that have got control over it. It's another—it's a complete another company that you've got to fucking hope, pull their finger out their ass and do something. Um, if you ring up and go, right, I'm Jamie, and I've ordered this thing, and they go, we've got no record of you. Yeah, <laughs> like so. What? But my uh, address is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but we yes. do own that line, but we've got no record of you. So you're going to have to talk to your provider and then they'll talk to us and then yeah. we'll talk to three other yes, people. He'll go off. and carry a pigeon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Good old message of pigeon, eh? Brilliant. Exactly. Uh, we're not out of the uh, not out of the uh, problems yet, mate. No. Um, yeah, so as you can see, uh, me and TJ have had a fantastic week in the heat. Uh, I'm not going to moan about the heat, um, mainly because I'm... An air conditioning Fuck contract off. manager, so I've got air conditioning, so I'm not suffering what other people Such are. Such a dickhead. I am a dickhead, but I didn't also just sit there and talk about my 17 lights and my 48 fucking monitors and my telly and fucking everything else. Don't go there. No, I said to you earlier. I'm not going to get I said to you earlier, don't go there. Don't go there, because we start talking about your setup, which is, ex- which is exceedingly more expensive than mine. It so is. So let's not fucking go there. Some of us have addictions to starters and those days. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Spend a lot of yeah. money on nonsense. Yeah. Right, anyway, we're going to move on, move on, because uh, we've got calendar news. We've got calendar news to do, TJ. We've got calendar news. Uh, right, so if you don't know, we do calendar news over here, which we cover the Saturday, the Sunday, and the Monday of the next couple of days, and what um, holidays and birthdays that I've got on there. So this Saturday, I've curated this a little bit because there was a fuckload for today. There was a fuckload, including Care Bears Day, which I'm not covering because fuck Care Bears. Right, I haven't got fucking special love bear, and no one gives a shit about my problems. So we're going to cover something else. Right. Um, so first up is Emergency Services Day. Now I know that sounds Americanized, because it's Americanized, but I think we should all take a little moment to celebrate our emergency services because they look after us when things really do hit, when shit really does hit the fan. I should say. Uh, so just so you all know, guys, emergency services obviously your fire, your ambulance, your police services. Um, AA tried to jump on that bandwagon quite a while saying they're the fourth emergency service and I suppose in a way they are but so is the RAC, so is Greenline so all them. So we're not going to conclude them because fuck them uh, unless of course your car breaks down on the motorway and then you need them desperately desperately, desperately, desperately because motorway is lots and lots of cars driving lots and lots of fast lots and lots of fast I'm gonna, I'm not going to go into it um, yeah, so do celebrate today. I don't know if any of you uh, work in the emergency services out there in the podcasting land or YouTube lands, but yeah, uh, you get my salute, guys. You look after us. You make sure that we're all right. TJ, any stories for yourself when you've got emergency services? Um, 
Not that I can think of off the top of my head, to be honest. I've been quite lucky in that regard. Um, yeah, the quite boring, yeah. to be honest. I haven't, yeah. Um, you know, yeah, I haven't, I haven't needed ambulances or police or fire brigade. No, no I'd, I'd be honest. I've never burnt down my own business. I. I broke a few bones, but generally sports related. Yeah, same, so, same. Broke my wrist and that playing football, and but so uh, didn't need police, an ambulance. But you know, uh, police have more arrested me than helped me in arrest. Never been arrested. Um, Goody two no, shoes been, over here. Uh, I've been arrested. Uh, drink driving being one. Um, <gasps> oh. go into it. Yeah, not yeah. We'll we'll move that on. <laughs> move that on. To naughty. Long man. time ago. It was a long, long naughty. time ago. Two years, three years after I'd started driving. I thought, yeah. uh, for whatever reason, had one too many shandies. I do mean shandies because don't let people tell you what they told me, which is like, hey, you're right, mate. You can drink loads of shandy, not a problem, mate. You no problem. Uh, until you need a wee uh, while going down the road and decide that it's three o'clock in the morning. Who's going to care if I go for a wee? I tell you who did care. The police that had followed me down the road. So I got done for uh, indecent, almost exposure. indecent exposure <laughs> and being drunk driving. Although Sorry. I will say this, uh, my little story about the police is, so they pulled me over and they were the nicest police I have ever witnessed in my life. So they said, oh, have you been drinking? And I thought, you know, when you're caught yeah. and you just think, I'm not going to lie because that would be just going to make things worse for me. So I said, yeah, I've had a bit to drink. And they said, well, we're going to we're gonna have to breathalyze you and I went, oh fair enough so the breathalyzer me because oh sorry mr morris you have blown over the limit and i was like Ugh. and i said well we've got to take you to the station but you're not massively over the limit so hopefully by the time we get there you'll have sobered up a little bit and then you'll go into the big machine and it is a big machine by the way so it takes up half the size of a room uh maybe you'll just be uh you'll just be under then uh i wasn't but they did something that I've never known the police do, according to all the other people who have told me about similar situations. When I came out and he goes, how did you get on? I said, oh, no, I was, I was a little bit over. He goes, oh, sorry to hear that, mate. Do you want a lift home? And I was like, oh, if you don't mind. So I got a lift home from the police. They're very, very nice to me, considering that I was breaking the law. Um, but less about my transgressions. Less about my transgressions. Let's move swiftly on. Now, this one that uh, me and TJ will get on board with, Wonderful Weirdos Day. Right here. So celebrating right the here. likes of us. That's right, kids. We're celebrated proper, on this proper day. Proper weirdos. Proper weirdos. So don't be afraid to embrace and explore your quirkiness on Wonderful Weirdos, guy, uh, wonderful weirdos Day, guys. Do, in, do enjoy it. I mean, being weird just makes you more interesting, in my opinion. Yeah, 100%. So thumbs up from be me. a shit existence, without, shit existence without us weirdos. I'll tell you that, much. Exactly. You wouldn't be able to get weird stories out of me and TJ about fucking spending... 300 and something quid on toothbrushes because you don't look after your teeth like a cunt. Um, <laughs> it's not weird. That's just like stupidity. But anyway, just, just you, on. just on. you now. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um, National When Pigs Fly Day. Now, I'm just going to give you a brief on National When Pigs Fly Day. It says here to have faith that miracles can happen and when they do, share them today. Any miracles in your life, mate? No. <laughs> Your daughter no. being born, maybe? <laughs> uh, okay, right. Yeah, okay. I was going like, you know, like, to say, I've got like, rumour uh, on the call my, anyway, my wife, so don't wife, worry. My wife, my, obviously, like, uh, my wife's miracle was obviously meeting me. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> we're, we're, that's obviously hers. Like, uh, like, goals and ambitions were met the day that happened. Um, for me, miracles, yeah, you could say my daughter. Um, well, I say you could say my daughter definitely, um, and there is obviously a. a right. I've got in speed dial. There is. <laughs> Just there, let you them know, my, I'll, you know, I'll be open and honest. Uh, my daughter is actually uh, IVF um, oh, for right. for okay. whatever reason. So yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, a miracle, miracle child. Yeah, um, we were lucky enough to get. Um, IVF on the NHS, and it was oh. uh, one round of it, and and yeah, my daughter is the is the result. So, um, mate, that is fucking that is a bit of a miracle. I've so, heard about people having IVF like three, four times. A yeah, yeah, I I, I I work with someone who who has uh, had it a couple of rounds on on the NHS. This was a few years ago, and had I think they paid for two or three rounds, um, and just none successful. So, um, so yeah, yeah, you could definitely say that's uh, she's my she's my miracle in life. Exactly, dude. Like so, definitely. My miracle is, of course, Kate staying with me and dealing with my nonsense, uh, which I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave there because uh, I don't want to go too much into uh, giving her too much of a big head because she's always listening. 
behind this wall. <laughs> Always listening. Always listening. Yep. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Telling me it's over in two seconds. Young Katie. Um, so, yes, guys, National When Pigs Fly Day. So you should always appreciate the small and amazing miracles that you happen to get in your life because uh, you never know. And what's, you know, what might seem small and insignificant can be massively life changing to other people. So, uh, yeah, do, do appreciate that. Now, this one, uh, we had to school TJ on a little bit today. Yeah, uh, I had a bit National... of a brain fart. You did. National Wiener Schnitzel Day. Now, Americans may think that I was talking about Wiener Schnitzel, which is a chain restaurant. I believe they do hot dogs. Please feel free to correct me, Dan. That's why I thought, yeah, that's exactly what my thought was about sausage and schnitzel. I thought, okay, so just stupidity alert here. I was like, oh, schnitzel's like a sausage, right? Well, it's yeah. not a fucking sausage, but it's like, not a sausage, the, like <laughs> the wiener parties, but they're not the schnitzel parties. But yeah, that's that's why I was like, I was conflating the two and thinking, oh, okay, but yeah. So Wiener Schnitzel is actually a Austrian delicacy, uh, mainly served in Vienna, the beautiful capital of Austria. Uh, and it is a veal cutlet coated in bread and then pan fried is what a Wiener Schnitzel is. So um, I guess if you want to celebrate one item of food, then great, I guess. But if you're going to celebrate that, where's my hamburger day? I suppose we might find out in the future. Actually, I bet you find there is a hamburger day. I bet you. I bet you. Doubtably, there, there's going to be a hamburger, hamburger day. Talking <laughs> about hamburgers, actually, we'll go back to what I've done this week. I had my first ever Wendy's today, so they've opened oh, a yes. Wendy's uh, close to us. Just going on a quick tangent. Um, yeah. And uh, and yeah, so I had a Wendy's today. Um, I'm still yet to have a Five Guys, but I had a Wendy's and Square Burgers. Very interesting. Strange. Yes. Are they? Are they small? I can't um, remember. So I, I know the because I, I was on my way back from the shopping expedition and we would had dinner. We'd already got like stuff out of the freezer for dinner. So it wasn't like I was like, oh, the Wendy's is reopened. Should we just pull in there and we'll we'll, we'll grab a little snack? So I literally yeah. grabbed just like the junior cheeseburger, I think it was, um, okay. uh, and some chips. And um, I got their... It's like a milkshake, but they call it a frosty. I think it's a frosty, but it's only a like, small one. It's not an MP, it's a little tiny one, but it's more like a dessert than a milkshake because they give you a spoon with it because uh, it's like really okay. thick. So it's like, um, it's almost like, um, you know, you know, when you go to those restaurants, they've got the self serve ice cream and it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, it, it, come, it's, it was more like that than milkshake. Um, but it was really, really nice. Um, the chips were lovely, crispy, and the burger, it was only a small burger, so, but. Whereas compare it to like like McDonald's cheeseburger, like one pound okay. nineteen or whatever, this was two twenty nine. But had proper lettuce, proper slice of tomato, proper onion okay. in it. Um, but yeah, smaller patty, but it was still really really nice and lovely toasted bun. So, so like, like a mini quarter pounder almost. Yeah yeah yeah. It was yeah, it was obviously like, a lot you know, thinner a lot on. thinner um, burger. Um, but they do a thing called the Baconator there, which is like a couple of patties, shitloads of applejack bacon. And I was like, ooh. Mm. ooh. Um, so I will, I will, I will go back and, uh, and regret that. But because I'm, I'm all like, I'm like, oh, I've never tried that, and it's obviously American thing that's come over here, and like, we seem because I'm at the arse end of the country, we tend to get stuff, even though we're really close to London, like we tend to like get stuff really late. Like it seems like everywhere else gets it in the country, and then yeah. like little Dan, Dan where I live, just takes forever to get it. Um, and we got a Five Guys not far down the road either, and I'm like, oh, I fancy a Five Guys. Um, because I know they do like a bacon milkshake, where it's actual bacon in the milkshake, and I'm like, yeah. I'm all over trying some of that. Yeah, we've got Five Guys in our local uh, shopping centre, the Merry Hill mm. Centre, and I, I, I like doing wrong. I like Five Guys. Their I've never, Cajun I've never had one. fries are fantastic. You literally get like a bucket of fries though is it is it so, five guys is the one where you get like it's a burger just they they sell one yeah. burger but you've got like 40 so like different variants 70 that you can do quid with or something yeah 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 and then you just add things to yeah. i mean like, i don't think they charge you i think it's like the burger is i Whatever. want to say nine quid yeah and they and then you can add like pickles this this i think bacon costs extra yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, cheese and bacon always you know they always seem to They've probably got yeah, like three different types of cheese and oh yeah, sort yeah, of stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's really nice, but the, here's the here's the catch: they always put two burgers on. You can ask for a single burger, and that will drop the price significantly. I mean, it's still five. But as a standard, burger. it's a double. But as a yeah. standard, it's a double. And like, don't get me wrong, I had just a burger meal, which you can't buy a burger meal. You've got to buy a burger, fries, and your milkshake, and it costs something like fifteen quid. Yeah, and I was like. <laughs> but it's like it's probably 
bigger quantities or portions than you would yeah. get at McDonald's. And when you're looking Their at paying... small fries is like a large mac yeah, fries. Yeah, because you're still going by like an American-ish kind of I think so. style, I think isn't it? So. so, I mean, the Cajun fries, if you do have fries there, um, do let me know what you think about the Cajun fries. I love them. I, I'm a big Spice fan, though. But, like, even them, you know, because like they've got so many, and they yeah. just literally... They must just go Cajun... Yeah, and just explodes all over him because, like, after a while, I was like, <coughs> "Yeah, <laughs> too much." Um, so I actually had to like calm down on the Cajun fries. I love Cajun fries, but you get like it's it's like a small bucket, and it's just filled to the brim with fries. Yeah, so you know it it, it is really nice, but you pay the price for it. I will say. Uh, right. So moving away from. Uh, to the September 9th um, celebrations. It's Adam Sandler's birthday today. He's 57 ledge. years old. He is a ledge. Um, his films, I, I think his films can be decisive. Um, decisive uh, or divisive? Divisive is yeah. what I meant, sorry. Excuse my poor English. Um, I was a big fan of um, Happy Gilmore and stuff like that. But then a lot of people go, mm, he's just a bit too stupid. I've got a question for you. Do you think since he signed his deal with Netflix, which was like a nine film deal or whatever, that yeah. he's kind of like gone off the rail, not off the rails, but like uh, the quality's gone down because he doesn't have to work so hard because he's got a guaranteed nine, nine film deal? Do you think? Potential, but I enjoyed the murder mystery films. Yes. They weren't the best ever, but like, you know, they. One and two, yeah. I, 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 one yeah. And two. I, I like, I, I, I will happily like adam sandler film gets released it's like quality that's me and my wife's like you know movie night sorted um yeah. both like adam sandler some of the stuff's a little bit overly stupid that i feel yeah. that once i've watched it once I... so like for instance a jack and jill yeah it's okay mm. not mm. really one of one i'd watch again but then i get that. grown-ups or pixels i'm very yeah. much like well i can watch that again you know i Man, quite you know, hated pixels i thought it was quite I funny. actually like i like pixels but then i like josh gad as well i think josh gad's a quite yeah. and and pete dinklage is like uh, mm. the fire blaster <laughs> like he's yeah. his quality you know um so did um, you watch the serious film he did uncut I gems i have uncut gems i, I like it was I've like oscar worthy as well amazing. Wasn't it? Yeah, i did I watch amazing. he done another one recently uh, about basketball um where queen latifah played his wife and he's like a basketball scout who travels um oh, okay. uh, like across like south america and stuff to look at these young lads finds this young lad and almost becomes this kind of young lad's agent and brings him in um and then gets her coaching job and whatnot and that was it, that was more serious um and that, like, i really enjoyed that like me and the wife watched that i can't remember what that's actually called it might uh yeah no I he's can't done one think. with his I, one with, I think it's his wife and his daughter Mate, his wife is in everything so that's the one thing about adam sandler is he's got his crew and his crew and every it, it are like in everything there's like five or six people that are literally in every film might be a two minute part might be a 10 minute part but his wife is always in it but just not yeah. as his wife like his wife was in pixels his wife's in um uh like the grown-ups his wife's in everything um but she yeah she never actually plays his wife she always plays a different character um and then obviously kevin james kevin, kevin james, james yeah um and his newest film is actually like his daughter's like the lead yeah um it's, and... it's something bar not your bar mitzvah or something yeah like yeah that, something about yeah yeah something like that he likes to bring in his jewish heritage i have, yes, uh, yeah, I have yeah. seen that as well um but is his wife his wife in that yeah yeah his wife he, yeah. oh no oh sorry i don't know if his wife plays his wife but his wife's in it yeah, because I, I, I'm sure I read, and don't get me wrong, you know, comment below, tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure his wife's his wife and his daughter's his daughter in this. That so I don't know. His daughter a... is his daughter in this, but I don't know if his yeah. wife, because um, normally his wife is a different character. Yeah, I mean, I suppose it makes sense if they're going to go with the it's daughter. It's interesting, like, his wife, wife never plays his love interest. Like, his wife always <laughs> plays someone else. So his wife's on set as he's like, you know, oh, like, I've got to make out with Drew Barrymore today. Oh, fucking hell, damn. You know? Michelle Monaghan. Oh, no. Oh, sorry, wife. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston. Oh, yeah, oh fucking hell, wife. <laughs> look, 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 look at what I've got to do. Like, you know. I mean, three three I films he got. He done that with Jennifer Aniston. I, th well, yeah. I think it's three. Let's get over it. Getting over it. Get over it. Something like that. And the two murder mysteries. And the two murder mysteries where it's his wife. Yeah. So, and apparently, did you know, uh, him and his wife always send her flowers on Mother's on Day? On Mother's because... Day. 
uh, because she can't have children. Something, or... something like she, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. That? that was a recent thing I saw. That. Yeah, it yeah. was. Yeah, I saw that recently popping up in the news. Not generally we'll seems like a nice bloke. If you he get does. a chance, I don't know if you've ever listened to any of the round table. They're like the Screen Actors Guild round table. No, stuff. I haven't. I haven't. He's I've always on wanted one. To really, them. really cool. Um, like it's it's such a weird eclectic mix they get of people in there. Um, but he done one. Um, and I only saw clips of the one he done. Um, but some really interesting stuff. The one with Brendan Fraser. So the one with Brendan Fraser, they've got Key who. Quan there as well i believe okay. colin farrell's there and and it's so so good so, so i good. bet that'd be quite funny. i think jeff bridges I, I'm, I'm is on that one as well that. really jeff really bridges. good he's quality i like mm. jeff bridges. it's such a like i say an eclectic mix of of actors it's quality like the, the there's a weird one with james franco and james franco's there with like tom hanks and stuff and you're like when they start talking about sexual assault and hollywood oh, and stuff mate. and then they like go to james franco like, what do you think james like yeah yeah it's terrible <laughs> it's like it's like uh <laughs> it depends if you're getting them to do acting yeah. scenes or just yeah, taking their tops Jane. off and like you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway yeah, anyway <laughs> moving uh, on right moving swiftly on it's also colonel sanders birthday today no, no. it's not he's dead it's not, i can't be his birthday if he's dead sorry to say like you know he, colonel sanders for those that don't know is of course the colonel from kfc he's known for his chicken um i would go deeper into it but uh, you know he, he made chicken a long time ago in kentucky i imagine um <laughs> <laughs> he died at he, you know, he lived to 90 which actually for the era that he lived in 90 is pretty fucking decent yeah. i mean i don't know if i'll live to 90 let's be honest but you know if he'd have lived today he'd be 133 years old if he lived today was... mate it would be a shriveled up prune <laughs> Like he looked, he looked, like looked shriveled up in the in the KFC pictures. I don't know how old he was then. One hundred thirty-three. No. Jesus. Yeah, but um, yeah. So good old Colonel Sanders would have been one hundred and thirty-three today. May his soul rest in a gravy. I was going to say. Would... <laughs> they do do good gravy. They do do good. They gravy. do do good gravy. They do do great. And I, I, I will talk to you about it off pod. But apparently, that gravy is made with some. Oh, it's, oh, thing. oh! There is no way that's like got anything to do with gravy in it at all. No fucking way. Apparently, it's the. Uh, I'm going to say it, it's group. Uh, apparently, it's you know when like you cook the chicken in the oil, they take all the bits and stuff off the top and they put that into the gravy mix. Well, obviously, because that's the absolute best fucking yeah. part. I'm sitting there going, I don't know what's in this. We're just gravy, drinking was... grease. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Taking 20 years off your life every single Like I say, Colonel Sanders lived to 90 because he didn't eat his own fucking no, product. No, he didn't. That's how he lasted that long. Uh, talking about old people that I enjoy, and I don't know if you enjoy. Hugh Grant's birthday today is all 63 years old. Paul Raymond. Paul Raymond. <laughs> I do. I do like Hugh Grant. I like, I like Hugh Grant. I like Hugh Grant's evolution as an actor now less so much than back yes. in the day of Notting Hill, Four Weddings. He's sleazeball. I think we've spoken about it before. Yeah. His sleazeball arc that he's going through now mm -hmm. with, um, obviously, the gentleman with um, Operation Fortune. Fortune, I think it was called. Like, those kind of characters, I really like those yeah. sleazeball characters that he plays, and I hope he plays a lot more. Um, I prefer them to his cookie-cutter, floppy-haired, <laughs> yeah. like, weird. Like I'm interested to see the... I know there's been some controversy with his Oompa Loompa, but I am kind of interested yes. to see how he... I'm not interested in the film. I'm just interested to see how he plays an Oompa Loompa um, yes. and how they do that. Um, um, it's like Operation Fortune always made me laugh. Go now, shut up, because yeah. I'm talking. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like it's just the the voice and everything that he puts on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is it the problem. Wagyu Raymond? <laughs> Even Wagyu for breakfast. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah I I, uh, I do really like uh, I do I do like this arc that he's in at the yeah, moment. I I much prefer it, like you say, over his. Um, you know, he was always that. Uh, 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 yeah, the bumbling interest. idiot that like yeah. gets the girl. You're like, yeah, yeah I don't really care about right. that. No, nah. I'd much rather see him do this flamboyant sort of uh, campy um, sleaze ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely brilliant. Absolutely love Quality. it. Uh, right, moving on to uh, someone called William Papa. Now, 
Of course, you may not know him because... Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that guy? Now, you may know him because you're a bit more up-to-date with the kitty winkles than I am. Does this look like the face who has a fucking clue what you're talking about? Because I don't. What was his right, name? I actually, uh, his name is William Papa. 21 years old. So, screams TikTok all over the place, doesn't he? So, oh. I had to look this up. Mate, Apparently, hang on. A... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Celebrity birthdays... No, <laughs> just fucking move on. Like, move on. Like, I have never heard of this geezer. This geezer... He's got six million views on YouTube. How can you say he's I've got 60 celebrity. views on fucking YouTube, and I'm like, you know, so what? Like, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, if, you know, hello, Mr. Beast has got, what, like a billion views? Come back yeah. to me, salt and pepper, whatever your name is, when you've got... Is that you giving me the nod to give Mr. Beast a shout out, Tom? Yeah, Mr. Right. give Mr. Beast... Like, he was in the Sidebench Charity game today. Mr. Beast, well done. Philanthropist and everything. Yeah, well done. Um, XQC needs to take his 100 million and get some goalkeeper lessons. Um, just saying, you were fucking shit. Um, so I think TJ agrees us when we say William Papa's birthday. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck uh, is that guy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah move on because uh, right, yeah, I, yeah, on. yeah. We we've got more days to cover, and uh, we yeah, have. Let's not talk about nonsense. <laughs> right. Moving on to Sunday tomorrow, the tenth. Uh, it is World Suicide Pre uh, Pre Prevention. I was going to say preservation. Then you imagine about well, that. Well, well, well. Technically, yeah. Preservation. We would like preservation. Yeah. This, you know, ultimately, like you know, suicide's a, a terrible thing. If we can preserve human life, then that'd be a great thing. Yeah, um, it's a terrible shame, but it's a growing problem. TJ, a lot of 100%, people 100%, 100%, uh, are, are moving towards doing that. Now, guys, I will say that I find suicide to be a long-term solution to a short-term problem. Obviously, I'm saying that from a position where I'm not suffering that kind of problem. Do reach out. If you have any problem, there are phone lines and helplines and places you can go where you can talk to people. Don't just throw it away. Guys. I'm, I'm just going to negate serious. what you just said there, though, and say I I wouldn't call it a solution in any... Like you said, it's no. a long-term solution for a short-term problem. I yeah. don't call it a solution because... No. For the person who 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 descend, de decides to take that route... Yeah. The knock-on effect it has on everyone else. Yes. Uh, and I know people's problems might seem insurmountable and everything, but there is always someone there to talk to. Um, yeah. I'll put a link in the description below to uh, to a, um, a suicide help prevention line. Um, yeah. Like, if you are having these kind of thoughts, these feelings, there are people that will listen, that want to listen, um, and and that are there to help you. Please yeah. don't think that there is no one you can talk to because no. there there always is. Um, and uh, tomorrow is always another day, uh, you yeah. know. Uh, and like I say, the loss that you leave, the the feeling of loss you leave for the other people around you, it, like that's you know you you're kind of just pushing the pain onto someone else yes essentially as so, well so do reach out guys don't don't suffer in silence no 100%. do reach out there are people that are specially trained to deal with it so you know we celebrate that today uh well tomorrow technically um world suicide prevention day yeah so do guys do reach out i'm not gonna i'm not gonna harp too much no. on it i know it's a very tough subject for a lot of people uh it is also national pet memorial day oh for fuck we've all had pets I mean, it's Mate, down here this Sunday. I know, <laughs> Jesus Christ. How why would you put both things on one day? Because I was rushing in the water. Not you, no, to... not you. Like, <laughs> the, you didn't show Sunday to be the day for both no. of these things. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, so obviously we've all had pets, kids, or, you know, if you've been unlucky and not, never had a pet, pets are amazing. So I understand that you, um, you know, you may memorialise them, you may want to yeah. remember, like, good pets. I know that, uh, you know, it is sad. There is a silence that when your pet is gone. It is, I it is very, very literally sad. was having a conversation before we went live, uh, before we recorded, I should say, with the wife, because um, we lost our dog. Um, he was 14 years old. We lost him on New Year's Day of this year um, in a really unexpected and kind of horrible way. Um, and it, like my wife was like our friends, two of our friends have just bought new puppies and it kind of like me and my wife were talking about earlier. My wife was just saying to me earlier, like that, there doesn't a day go past. And the same for me that she doesn't think and miss like our dog, Ryko. He was uh, a staffy and he was, he was absolutely yeah. amazing. Um, and so, yeah, it's, uh, you know, 
it's 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 all like they're always they're 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 your family member they're they're yeah, a part they of your are. life for so long um so yeah it's a it is a horrible experience to go through exactly so i it's a thumbs up from me because i i do think you should remember your pets mm. because they they for me especially and i know definitely for my co-host that you know they capture a part of your heart they are part of your family and yep. you know so don't let their memories go just because you know someone tells you they're like it's a dog so yeah yeah, yeah. you're just a person i'd put you down um (laughs) (laughs) anyway moving swiftly on it is also swap ideas day now i've got a little bit of umbrage with swap ideas day why do we need a fucking day for it just swap ideas you don't need to remember That's, to swap but ideas. Isn't, isn't isn't that uh, apart from the like the serious days, the pet memorial day, the you know the emergency services day and stuff yeah. like that? Isn't the whole point of this segment to to just look at the lunacy of what yes. people celebrate? Yes. Like National so... Swap Ideas Day is fucking ridiculous. It's like <laughs> National Say Thank You Day. Just say thank you every fucking yes, day. Exactly. It's like, normal. It's called manners. Yes. Like, I don't... Like, like, this is the whole point that we brought this segment up, is just to, to laugh at how ridiculous some of these fucking things are. They're like, oh, we need a celebration for this day. Uh, let's celebrate uh, waking up in the morning day. Well, I should exactly. fucking hope so. Like, or fucking Steve day. Yes, Steve. all right, your name's Steve. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> so, yeah, the less said about Swap Ideas Day, the fucking better, because, like, that should be every fucking day. Like, as a society, we should be bouncing ideas off each other. It's exactly. how the world moves forward. Technologically, technology advances and all shit like that. Exactly. Someone says, I've come up with an idea. Oh, yeah, I've got a similar idea to you. But what wait, if we till, wait till Sunday the 10th. Ideas. Wait, no, 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 you must wait till Sunday the 10th before you're allowed to change, give me these ideas. Holy, could you imagine how shit this country would be if we waited till the 10th of September every year to swap ideas? Fuck me, we'd still be clubbing women over the head with fucking mallets and dragging them back to our cave holes. So, like, you're my wife. You know? Isn't that swapping an idea? I like you. You no like me, but swap. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the the advancements would just not happen if we waited no. one day a year to swap no, ideas. God. Fucking hell. Yeah. So no, it's a. Yes. I'm afraid. Um, Moving on. It's also a, a, almost never heard of for quite a while. Ryan Philippi's birthday today. He is 48. Ryan Philippe. What's he in? Ryan Philippe. Yeah, Ryan, 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 right, actually, actually, Ryan Philippe. So obviously. Did a lot of stuff younger d- days, didn't he? he did. Cruel Intentions. I still know yeah. he did. Uh, no, I know Cruel he did. Cruel Intentions, Sarah Michelle Gellar yeah, kissing I'm, another lady. Good time. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> yeah I, I, know, I know what you did last summer um, yeah. and, and so on and so forth. Um, but he were, he recently did the series Shooter, didn't he? Which was based off of... The, you know, the have you seen the film with Mark Wahlberg? Which was oh, based yes. on another film. Um, right. He they made a series of it, and I think it did about four or five seasons. And Ryan Felipe was the oh, main character, yeah, main character in that. I haven't That's seen why I it. He does nothing, but I know, <laughs> but I know. Yeah, no, it's quite a big series. It's quite a big thing in America. Um, it got like, like I say, four or five seasons, so it's got to be fairly decent, you know. Yeah. So I, I honestly, ever since uh, sort of Cruel Intentions, I mean, he hasn't been massively on the radar either. But no. ever since like Cruel Intentions and a few of the films you other mentioned, like Scream and stuff, I just like Benji. Is he even still working? Like yeah. I never see him in anything. So yeah. well, I'm glad for you. Philippe, Philippe, Philippe. Wasn't he married to Reese Witherspoon? Was it him that was married to Reese Witherspoon? I'm not sure. Because they were obviously co, they were they were co-stars on Cruel Intentions. Because he played something Valmont, Valmont, Valmont. What did he? What was his name? And yeah, because I just yeah, because he dies in the most. Like, I've seen people get hit by a car and survive, and he got hit by a car and died, which I always thought was like, okay, he got hit by a car. Didn't seem like it was even that bad a hit by a car, but he died. But, I mean, that's fair enough. I mean, didn't have to get thrown off a bridge or something because he has a fight with Reginald, the uh, the music teacher, um, because he fucks a seal. See, I remember all this shit. This is like a wealth of useless information. He didn't remember that he wasn't in Scream. He was in... No, I know you said you Scream. I said um, I still know. And then I said, actually, no, no, no. It was I know. The first one. He, um, he played Sarah Michelle Gellar's boyfriend uh, who then gets fucked up brother. at the gym. Brother. It's a brother, isn't he? Oh, no. no, no in, I, I know he did last summer. Yeah. Yeah. 
So just to give you a little bit of a brief on his relationship, relationships have always been Philippe's, uh, Philippe's weaknesses. Some would believe that he has fallen out of luck. Philippe married Reese Witherspoon in yep, 1999, so. and later in that same year, they birthed Ava Elizabeth Philippe, their daughter. In 2003, they had their second child, Deacon Reese uh, Philippe. Uh, in 2007, the couple divorced, and Philippe dated Abby Cornish. Don't know who Abby Cornish is. Uh, Name rings a bell, but yeah. Name rings a bell, I don't know. No, I'm not. Maybe I do know. No. Uh, in the following years, he dated Alexis Knapp and Paula. That can't be slagged. I, mean, I suppose it might be. And he got sued by Elise Hewitt, his ex-girlfriend, apparently. So he's had stuff going on, hasn't he? Yeah. It's not, not that I care, but Didn't yeah. Tell me anything about his suing, which I'm concerned about. Why are you concerned yeah. about Ryan Felipe being well, sued? I just wonder what he got sued for. Being just, a twat. Yeah, you, can't, like... you can't just go, he, he even got sued by Elise Hewitt, his ex-girlfriend. I'm like, what happened there? What happened there? I don't care. Anyway. <laughs> I care. I care too. Do it in your own time. <laughs> <laughs> Our listeners don't care. <laughs> it's also Colin Firth. Uh, Firth. Firth? Yeah, 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 kink, yeah, kink, yeah. kink. You got the like you did the king speech. Colin Firth's birthday. Oscar uh, winner. Oscar winner. Yeah, Oscar winner. Oscar winner. Yes. Um, loved him in Kingsman. I will say. Yes. Loved him in Kingsman. Yes. In manners. Meneth maketh, maketh man. man. <laughs> <laughs> so it's his birthday today. I celebrate that. I like Colin. I like Colin Firth. I'm I tell you what, we're not gonna, Pride and Prejudice. I'm gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> link back right. To possibly the worst fight scene ever in movie history, and it takes place with another person that we've spoken about, Hugh Grant, Bridget Jones's diary, when they have the yes. fight and they end up in the water fountain. Yeah, possibly it's probably, to be fair, the most accurate mm. fight between two blokes, British gentlemen. Well, well, just blokes in general, because. We yeah. all think like, oh, yeah, I get in a fight, I'm fucking duck and weave, I fucking get him with a jab, come round with a round, fucking uppercut. Like, no, you're gonna, have, it's a slap fight contest. Then the two of you're gonna roll around on the floor like a couple of fucking idiots. Like, I'm let's be nettle. honest, even myself, like I'm not Mike Tyson, I'm not gonna be in there like fucking, fucking, you know, I'm literally just gonna go in there windmilling and hope I fucking yeah. land something, you know. Um, I got no technique at all, mate. I'm like a flailing rhinoceros or something as I come charging towards you. So. But it's the most accurate fight fight that you'll probably ever see in a film. Um, but it was so bad, <laughs> so bad. Although he, I will say, he redeemed himself with the uh, church scene in uh, was it Kingsman yeah. Two when he just what, absolutely when he just like massacred decimated. the whole fucking church, decimated everybody in there. Oh dear! So I celebrate Co- uh, Colin Firth. Yeah. I thought that was good. He is sixty-two years old today, so he's getting on. He's getting up there. Uh, I also got this one in. I don't know him very well, but I thought you might. Big Daddy Kane. Big Daddy Kane's birthday today, 54 years old. Uh, one um, of the most on, skilled on, MCs. On, who the fuck is that guy? I, yeah, that tells you, like, I have no idea who the fuck that dude is. Big Daddy Kane. He, I thought it was a wrestler. Big Daddy Kane. No, no, Big wrestler. Daddy Kane. Yeah, no Kane, Kane was a wrestler. Not yeah, Big yeah, Kane Daddy was Kane. a wrestler, but, you know, well, Big Daddy was a wrestler and all. So, like, you know, it's I don't know if it was their love child. I don't know. No, he was a he was um he was an eighties American rapper whose career blew up in the eighties apparently. Well known for his work as an MC, so that person that just talks over the yeah. over the music basically. Yeah, no. Nah. Here on. I am. I'm gonna chat. I've got nothing to say, <laughs> but here's that. I'm gonna try to rap. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's all you get out of me, kids. You won't call. If you want more, you're gonna have to come to Twitch and uh, well, just ask, and I'll. Ruin that for you as well. So I'm not going to get into it because I thought TJ might actually know I more. Got a real name, that, <laughs> real name is Anto- Antonio Hardy. No, apparently, Big no Daddy clue. Kane. No okay, we got Big Daddy Kane, isn't? Anyway, we'll move swiftly on from that and go on to Monday. Now, of course, Monday is September 11th, which I'm sure is important to a lot of people, yeah. and it is, of course, Patriots Day. On uh, September 11th, a time to reflect on the devastating 9-11 terror attacks that took nearly 3,000 lives. Mm. Now, a lot of people call conspiracy on that, of course. Uh, if you go I... on the line, if you want to go on the internet and read too much, they will at Tower some point seven. tell you that everybody's done it. Tower 7. <laughs> Tower uh, 7. What was it? Tower 7 controlled explosion? Yeah. 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 
That's a uh, that's a. Uh, you can see the explosions going up the building. It's that's demolition. A powder keg. That is <laughs> that is a very incendiary topic. To say so all you conspiracy nuts, feel free to uh, message below that we can just ignore. Um... <laughs> Sorry, but no, in a serious note, it was terrible that obviously a lot of firefighters and um, emergency right. services people did lose their lives. Well, and and just general civilians. public as well who yeah. worked in the buildings, you know. A lot of civilians. And on the planes, uh, you know, yeah. the, 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 the innocent people that were on the planes as well. Exactly. So, uh, terrible, terrible, guys. Terrorism is it should never be celebrated at all. It is horrible. It's absolutely horrible that people feel that they should fear people into demands i guess or just horrific events uh moving swiftly on onto tj's wanted favorite day which is the national boss employee exchange day i think we'd all like to at least try this out once yep. get ready to step into a different pair of uh, shoes as we celebrate this fun day where your boss lets you be the boss i, I would guess. i would i would go straight into the office go onto the wages file and then put an extra zero at the end of my annual salary. Mm -hmm. um, exactly. And then put a lock or something on the file so that my boss can't tamper with it. Um, <laughs> and then I'd be there. I'm done for the day. I'm going home because I'm a boss. <laughs> so I don't have to be here today. <laughs> See you all later. Yeah, um, yeah that's, later. that's that's what I would do. <laughs> yes, I think we all would. I think I'd definitely go in and put another zero and go, well, oh, my I mean, day done. <laughs> also, who don't I like? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit canned you you and you <laughs> you're all <laughs> right moving on to another day that i think is absolute bullshit is national make your bed day again you should make your bed it's uh right. <laughs> okay right i uh, will uh, right uh, like... devil's he's gonna advocate defend it. De he's no. gonna defend it no, no, oh wait no, a minute no, no. we've got a noise for this <laughs> devil's advocate no devil's advocate here right why? Why should you make your why, bed? Why, other than the fact that it's just a civilised thing to do, why? It's a civilised thing to yeah, do. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> I make the bed, or my wife makes the bed. We make our daughter make her bed. <laughs> but, but, you are just getting back into it that night. You are. You are. But if you're anything like me, my covers are all over the place in the morning because my wife gets up before me and I'm just like... You're like... <laughs> <laughs> too hot <laughs> too cold then at some point I'll, I'll i'll just take a corner yeah and then that as long as it covers no one's looking at me but i just cover me uh private region <laughs> <laughs> just laying there with just like a little cover and just covering <laughs> there isn't your, wife, small your wife walks in and just shakes her and go for god's sake <laughs> look at that <laughs> look at the state of it <laughs> <laughs> yeah but no, uh, did you know we spend a third of our lives in bed, TJ? Did you know that? Yes, yes, I have. Yeah. So I've heard, um, you know, I mean, the term like, you know, sleep when you're mm. dead. But yeah, mm. obviously, you know. TJ doesn't sleep much. I don't sleep much. So I, yeah. I've been getting better. Um, definitely through my younger years, like sleep was not something that oh, I even God. knew the meaning of. It was like, you know, if I got four hours, it was good. Um yeah. And I'm very much a night person. So, like, we're filming the pod now. It's actually midnight now. Yep. I will then be finishing up with you. The UFC starts at 3 a.m., so I'm going to yep. watch the UFC. I probably won't go to sleep till 6. I was up at 8 this morning. Then tomorrow I'll probably sleep in till maybe about 10, so I'll probably have four hours. And then, you know, I'll do it all again. I mean, you know, and then the nights I stream, I always plan to come off streaming at, like, half 11. 1 o'clock I'm still streaming. i got work the yep. next day. Um, yeah, sleep is... Know, does it... yeah. I've I've always I, I, I've always been a bad. night person, always been a night person, and and I've been able to function on not a lot of sleep. Yeah, whether or not like I'm going to hit a wall at like fifty or something, and that's and I'm just going to be a narcoleptic sleep all the yeah. fucking time. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> it might happen. Don't know. Just nodding to sleep at the wheel. I'd just be like, yeah, yeah, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say shit to that effect. Cannot say shit no. because I have fallen asleep on stream live, yeah, snoring. Live. Snoring. snoring on stream character hilarious playing apex jay's like this asleep and his character's running into a wall like this because he's fucking got his finger fucking like lent down on the analog stick and jay's like, oh, i managed to reload <laughs> yeah that's it yeah he did he was fucking asleep and his character reloads we're like what is going on here yeah. if he gets a kill here this ain't dodgy <laughs> 
<laughs> he wins the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jay wins by default because he's in the fucking. He's in the the, the, the in the zone. Yeah, in the ring. Yeah. Fucking hell, that would have been hilarious. And I was like, oh my god. I was jumping at one point, which I don't know how I'd managed to do, and then I reloaded, and people were going, "What? what what's just happened?" <laughs> Hello, Hello. <laughs> sending sound alerts through and all sorts. <laughs> to be fair, I had drank a su- substantial amount of Jack Daniels uh, due to it being, I think, it was New Year- was it New Year's Eve or Christmas? It was something like that. Yeah, yeah. it was. You, well, you did a thing, didn't you? Uh, yeah, shots uh, for subs. Sub for a sub. Yeah, yeah. Shot for, uh, shots for subs, which yeah, is a over, bad idea. Kids don't and, do that. And, yeah, people just bad uh, idea. took you to task on it a little bit. Yeah, they did because they started just gifting five subs, and I was going, "Okay, that's not a shot. That's more. fucking down in a glass." <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. It is also Ludacris's birthday. Luda! Yeah, Ludacris. Now, I quite like Ludacris, um, mainly because I sort of like his character from... Uh, Fast. Fast, yes. Uh, I've quite, I I've quite enjoyed his quite jokes else. and stuff. But yeah, I think he's well, been he's in got, other stuff. He's got a good relationship with Tyrese, isn't he? Uh, Ro- yes. Uh, Roman, Roman Pierce. Roman, Roman um, Pierce, yes. Although I can't remember Ludacris' name in it. But Tez. I just remember Ta- Ta- Taj, Tez, Taz, Tez, Taj. Tez, I'm sure it's Tez, Tez isn't it? Uh, Something in, like that. Tez. In 10, Tez. he's just Tez. little Tez. Tez. Yeah, and he's, yeah. he's got that little dude with a bobblehead, yeah. and it's ludicrous. Yeah, they're, 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 you funny. know, they've got a good comedy duo kind of thing going on. A little bit they silly. Have. They're like the, you know, they're like the wacky out there, and they they go to space. It's a little comic relief, isn't it? I mean, yeah. it's a little comic relief. I mean, I think, I think that film... Needs that though, and, uh, especially with Vin uh, Diesel know, being so serious all the time. They've got Natalie and Manuel, wouldn't they, with them as well, which is a uh, yeah. she kind of plays off them quite well as well. So, yeah, I always remember her from Game of Thrones. I can tell you why. Uh... <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> uh, now this one, uh, Taraji P Henson. Taraji P Henson, yes. Oscar yes. winner, I believe. I think she is an Oscar winner. Uh, she starred in Sister Sid, which I remember from being a young boy when Sister Sid was on. Sister, sister, don't you know how much I missed you? Anyway. <laughs> House and her big role currently is Empire, which I haven't watched any of Empire. Well, but I hear talking, good well yeah, she was also in, um, oh, there's a Kevin Costner film. Um, she's a mathematician, a black mathematician, and it's like they're trying to get to, uh, to, I think they're trying to get the, to the um, moon. Um, hidden, oh. hidden numbers. Is it hidden numbers? Is it hidden and numbers? She's like a mathematical genius, but it's obviously yes. at the height of like, uh, like you know, when um, black people weren't allowed to like share about. toilets and like they were seen she's as like... second class citizens. And she's a fucking Mensa level genius. Um, just is it called hidden number? She was in a curious case. Uh, the curious case of Benjamin Button. Uh, oh, the family that prays. Uh, hidden? No, not hidden. Oh, Hidden Figures. It's called Hidden, hidden Figures. That's hidden it. Figures. Hidden Numbers. I was close. Yeah, she was in that. Did she win? A, did she win an Oscar for some reason? She won. She had a win for Best Actress in Empire, Golden Globe. Uh, she had an Academy a, Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress in the Case Curious Case of Benjamin Button. So I don't think she's won an Oscar. I thought she yeah. had. Oh, hang on. Nominee. 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 Bafta. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Yeah, multiple nominations and won the SAG Award for Outstanding Performance by cast in a mo- uh, by a cast in a motion in yeah. a motion picture in a motion picture. What? Anyway, oh, she was in Karate Kid remake in 2010. The film is terrible. It's probably Jackie um, Chan is Thingy's great. Son, uh, the thing is, yeah. mum. Sorry, um, Will Smith's uh, Jaden Smith's son. Uh, Jaden Smith, yeah, probably Jaden Smith. He's mum. gone off the rails a little bit, isn't he? That Jaden Smith, mate. The f- mate, I don't want to like thingy, but the family are fucking like off the rails, yeah. mate. Off the fucking yeah. reservation. Like, 100%, mate. 100%. I, okay. Don't get into it. <laughs> no, I will. I will because I will say one thing like, she, uh, yes. Jada, manipulative. Yeah, man. Manipulative. Bad juju. Like, Bad I don't juju. like. How do you emasculate a man? Oh, let's have this red table talk and pretty much tell you 
tell your husband how you, while we're on a family holiday, I'm getting slammed by my son's friend. Yeah. While you're like, like, how to emasculate a man in front of the nation and then wonder why he's lost a fucking plot and goes on a rampage and slaps up Chris Chris Rock at the Oscars. Because you watch that back, he laughs at the fucking joke. It's not even that fucking bad. He laughs at the joke. She rolls her eyes and he's like, oh, fuck. This is going to be red table talk. Why didn't you yeah. defend me? I'm going to have to go and do something. I'll go and slap Chris Rock, which I don't condone violence. And Will Smith, you're no. a twat for doing it. Um, yep. Chris Rock, you're a legend for the way you handled it. Anyone yep. who's criticizing Chris Rock for his comment is a fucking comedian. Shut up. Get yep. back in your box. Um, and he was making a, uh, what's it called? He was making a joke of the film. Wasn't he's making he? a film reference joke. She shaved her yep. head. She's got alopecia. Okay, cool. He weren't going, ha ha, you fucking bald bitch, was he? No, right. he didn't. He turned around and made a joke about a film reference. He's a comedian. What do you G. expect? G.I. Jane, that's what it was. But G. me, Jane. if she'd gone in there with Ricky Gervais, oh my days, oh, Ricky Gervais mate. would have lit an her oh, up. If you think Chris mate. Rock was bad love, you should have gone to the fucking Golden Globes. <laughs> yeah. He would have had a fucking field day with you in your red table, you silly bitch. Oh, I'd have paid good money. Wouldn't you have paid good money? Mate, I would have loved that? it. I don't, Will Smith would have had to kill Ricky Gervais. He would have gone that bad on it. He'd have literally had to gone up there and just stomp, stomp on his head. He'd be like, you can't talk like that about my wife. Like, do you know what I mean? Because my wife's came out of your fucking mouth. <laughs> like, oh, I just, I can't stand her. I just think she's such a pompous, arrogant bitch. Yeah. And I apologise. If you like her, then more for yeah. you. Maybe but... this isn't the podcast for you. No, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> I'm going to start my own pod called the Red Hat Diaries and I'm going to fucking, you know, just go around and slag everyone else off and say that I'm the queen or king of fucking whatever. Oh, God. I'd like to see you say yourself the queen, mate. That'd be oh, fun for me. Well, yeah. It'd amuse me. It'd amuse me greatly. Right, moving away from the calendar news and <laughs> entertainment news before TJ goes on a rant and start, I don't know, fighting people in the street with his whirlwind arms. <laughs> Ooh, a bit of a bad one to start on. Uh, probe into the death of a teenager who died after a viral one-chip challenge. Now, this story, I've got the information from the yeah. mail online. Uh, so, uh, apparently, authorities are probing into the death of a 14-year-old Harris Wo- Wolabar? Wolabar. I don't know. Wolabar. I think it's Wolabar. I think it's that, yeah. After he took part in a one-chip challenge. Now, we talk about this because, obviously, my wonderful co-host here, you do a lot of uh, hot spicy things, don't you, mate? I do. I have this thing in my channel where I am. If you are gracious enough to follow my channel, I have a bean wheel that I spin that's got, like, bean boozled Bertie Bots and stuff on. If you are even more gracious enough to to gift me, to grant me a sub, I do a chili bean wheel which has got these... Which are the bean I always boozles, enjoy gifting them five. So so, and swear. they've got like Carolina Reaper, Cayenne Habanero, and so forth. Um, and that has also led me, whenever I've done charity streams, mm-hmm. that's mostly uh, designed around eating horrible stuff or hot stuff. So I've done like the world's hottest noodles. I have looked into the past about getting the one. I did the Toe of Satan, which was a yes. lollipop that is so many thousand million Scovilles, whatever that you got hold in your mouth Love for five that, minutes. Though. That was awful. Um, and I have looked at doing the one chip challenge myself, but. Here in the UK, they're not the easiest thing to source, uh, to be no. honest with you. Um, they do like knockoff ones, like other companies, but I would like to do a legit one. Um, and like I say, they're not, you either pay through the nose for them or they're very, very difficult to come to 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 get hold of. So I have yet not done one, but then, yeah, this on September the 1st, wasn't it? Um, yeah. I I do question. It doesn't say. It says that they that they are going that they're doing a um a um oh, what do you call it um a, a a postmortem on him yeah um and I wonder if we're going to find that he had underlying health issues, maybe some allergic reaction. Um, I mean, it's caused major things because the the creator of the chip uh, or crisp as it would be in the UK. Um, has actually asked retailers to stop selling the individual yes, wrestling. So yes, they're pulling it, pulling it from the shelves, aren't they? Um, now, because the, because the, the other thing as well is this is a yearly thing, so it's been going since 2016, and each year mm. it's a slightly different chip, whether that be flavour, whether that be the amount of powder, whatever, like Scovilles, Scovilles, yeah. um, because it's it's. Reaper and Naga chilies, I believe, isn't it? Uh, I think that's Thanks. right. Uh, Naga Viper Pepper and Carolina Reaper. Um, and um, 
and so, so yeah, they've like they've obviously because I think last year's one had like blue powder on it and turned your tongue blue. <laughs> right. Pardon me, sorry. Um, but yeah, it's uh, and they do state very clearly on the packaging this is not for children it's an adult thing um but it has become a bit of a social media sensation all over youtube yeah. tiktok people doing this and there's obviously they there's like a challenge thing on the back which is if you can last so long without having any food or uh or drink i think it is what is it if you can do one minute you're technically classed as harmless if you can do 10 minutes it's you're a slitherer 30 minutes is you're venomous and one hour you're an apex predator if you uh, before you eat or drink anything for relief i.e milk bread yeah. the, the standard things that help uh quell the pain that it causes um now but the yeah. california reaper pepper just to give you an idea is named the world's hottest pepper measuring up to 2.2 million scoville heat units uh on the scoville scale uh, and the Naga Viper Pepper came in just below at 1.3 million. Yeah. Million just makes it sound ridiculous, though. Yeah, but where, where does, the, does the scale start at one? Because if it does, then it's rather. <laughs> the scale starts at like 900,000. You know, it'd be like one of them weird scales, you know? I you know, like, 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 like we're, we're English, we're British. Like, yeah. freezing is zero, boiling is 100. Yeah. America, because it goes Fahrenheit, it's like freezing is like 26. Like, like, no, yeah, no, it is 26, isn't it? I don't, I don't know. I, just made, if it is, I made that fucking number up, so I yeah. don't fucking know. It's, and boiling I think is it's an, like 30. It's 30 like, higher than what Yeah, Fahrenheit. And, like, I'm just like, yeah, I don't like, yeah. In, easy, easy numerical numbers. Zero, 100. Yeah. There you go. Easy. That's split. what metric is, kids. That's what metric is. And then, like, That's so this Scoville level, <laughs> where do they start? They could start at fucking like 637,000. You're like, what a random number to start at. I have no idea. It may start from one if it does, okay. Right, I'm just going to bring it up just because I've got to know now. Man looks at the thing <laughs> on the internet, so give me a second. Hang on, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> when we back out, it starts from zero, but then the it goes from zero to 2,000. <laughs> and that's that's sort of mild. So Bell Pepper, Lombardo, uh, Anaheim, Anaheim, uh, Golden Greek, and, and Anko... Poblano. What does sriracha come at? Because sriracha's like the minimum oh, level yeah. like of the beans that I do. That's probably sriracha, got to be quite low, sriracha. I would have thought. Sriracha's got... I really like sriracha sauce, actually. I, I'm not a massive uh, pepper heat fan, um, I'll be honest. Well, jalapeno's only classed as mild hot, and that's 2,000 to 50,000. Uh, Depending on what type of jalapeno. jalapeno. Del Arbo, Lemon Drop, so Tabasco, probably comes in around there. Serrano and Cayenne in a mile then hot is co ricotto thai peppers chiltepin charleston hot and pequin 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 no idea no, never heard of this off um spicy hot is scotch bonnet i've i've eaten a scotch bonnet before that was pretty fucking spicy <laughs> um pimento denida 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 uh jamaican hot yellow and very hot is hab habanero uh, Fatality Yellow, Devil's Tongue Red, Really Hot, uh, now getting to 50, I know, yeah, 50,000, uh, 50, 500,000, sorry, plus is really hot. Yellow Pot Yellow, Seven Pot Bubblegum, Seven Pot Bubblegum. And that just, right. that's going to confuse a child somewhere. Very that's... hot is, is what, 700,000? And these fucker is 2.2 million. No, no, very hot is 250,000. And this fucker's really two... hot. <laughs> yeah. What do they class so, as two point two million then? Like so melt your fucking face hot. off. Yeah, extreme hot. So Carolina, uh, Carolina Reaper, Trinidad Morugu, Scorpion, and Seven Pot. What is Seven Pot? What's that so important for? Seven Pot Dougal, Dougla, Dougla. Doesn't even come on. That's like a fucking Pokemon. Yeah, fiery hot, which is where that Naga Viper sits, and Komodo Dragon. What sort of Komodo dragon was a creature? A Komodo dragon is a Komodo dragon. Yeah. Um, seven pot Lucy again. They love that seven pot. But so that's one million. That is very hot. So that is crazy. And 2.2 2 is the hottest that it, it can go. So it is the Carolina, uh, Carolina Reaper is the hottest. 2.2 2 million Scoville heat units. Yeah, no, fuck that. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't think that's why. So... Good. Yeah, go, go. Obviously, yeah. Like, 
we will obviously tread back on this when there's any news yeah. comes out from a post mortem. But yeah, fourteen years old, like life just disappeared for nothing for eating a yeah. a, 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 a spicy chip. Um, so it's mad. Be careful, mad. kids. Just because yeah. your friend said that you should when do it, it says fucking do it. Like intended for adult consumption so he mm-hmm. says on the back this is what he says keep out of reach of children intended for adult consumption do not eat if you are sensitive to spicy poo spicy poots spicy Body foods poo. uh, allergic to peppers nightshades or cap- uh, capsations uh, or a pregnant have any other medical medical conditions after touching the chip wash your hands with soap do not touch your eyes they do give you gloves which also should give you a oh, well. uh, uh, yeah, indication, uh, an indicator really. that saying's fucking like not good with this seek medical assistance before you experience difficult uh, if you experience difficulty breathing fainting or extended nausea um so yeah not for the faint of hearted and not for children not at all my life kids so do do be careful um tj will be eating one in just a moment joking um <laughs> I, I, I will struggle even more to get hold of one now uh, no, i, I no. will be doing a charity stream in november um and i was looking at weird shit that i can eat and one of them was i was going to potentially try because i had a snail on stream last year um was the sarstraumen the the fermented fish but i don't i'm very dubious as to whether i want to do that because if i spill any of that shit in here it's going to stink this room out for a long time so i'm kind of looking I've got an idea of some of a different way to go uh, this yeah. year, but it'd still be around eating weird shit. So do check that out, kids, if you want to see uh, our friend TJ basically struggle, like I always do. Fun for me. Fun for me, kids. <laughs> um, moving on to the next story. Megan Fox is in the news, and it's not her shagging her partner, Machine Gun Kelly, for once. Thank fuck. Sick of reading them stories. Uh, Megan Fox is going to play vampire in Mortal Kombat. Um, what's her name now? What's the name of the Natira. character? Natira. Natira. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not a massive Mortal Kombat player myself. Uh, obviously, I'm so old that I played Mortal Kombat 1 when it came out, and Mortal Kombat 2, and Mortal Kombat 3 I played a bit of. Terrible at them, kids. If you come to my stream to watch me play Mortal Kombat, you're just coming to watch me fail. That's all that is. Uh, I have watched the stories every now and then, I will say. Um, I've seen the films. I do, yeah. I... Mortal Kombat! I'll tell you, have you seen? I'll tell you what, right? Just quickly, it, like yep. the, they did, a, they released a, um, an advert for Mortal Kombat One, and it was Dave Batista. And yes, Dave I've Bat- seen. And and oh my god, it got me amped up to so want to play Mortal Kombat One. And I've like, I, I I'm not a fan of uh, of beat 'em ups, and I was just like, oh fuck yeah. Oh yeah, I want to play some Mortal Kombat. Like, Mortal uh, Kombat. I, I haven't done, and I probably won't do. But it was definitely did what the advert intended to do, which was to stir something inside and make me want to go and punch some people in the face in a video <laughs> game. In a video game, um, you've seen him win, Mill kids. You've seen him win. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, Megan Fox, obviously. If, did you watch the video that that came with this article? I didn't around. actually watch the video. Well, she turns around and and she says like um just like oh yeah she's a vampire which you know is you know is very very like me and I'm like what you suck blood on the regular like you only come out at night you sleep in a coffin how are you like a fucking vampire fucking weird creature I, I mean machine uh, machine gun Kelly will tell us she sucks something I don't know if it's blood. Uh, they are <laughs> very very weird isn't she because I'll always yes. remember she did they were at like some award show and she's mm-hmm. there and they're talking about and they were saying oh what are you doing later and she's like whatever daddy tells me and I'm like you're like 40 okay. odd years old love and he's like with children 10 so... 12 years younger than you and you're calling him daddy seems yeah. a bit weird you're a Just bit not. mental but Just I wouldn't kick her out of bed for eating crisps no you know, my wife's got a bit of a big crush on uh, Megan Fox she's I would say she's had work done, but she's a very attractive lady. Yeah, she's very, very pretty. I remember in Transformers. But I think, um, I think, crazy as fuck. Yes, I think like definitely she's like the modern day equivalent. Side. Do you remember? I'll tell you what, right? Actually, for reference, for mm. me and you, because we're old, Jay. Like mm-hmm. Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox is our Angelina Jolie and um, Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah, Billy Bob Thornton. Yes, I could see that. They totally. were weird as shit. Like, wore vials of blood around each other's neck. Like, d- done some weird sex stuff and that. Machine Gun yeah. Kelly and Megan Fox are like this era's version of that. I think their wedding ring. Isn't isn't one of her wedding rings that will damage her if she takes it off? Like, it's got inverted sort of thorns Who? in it or something. Ma- so you... Ma- Megan Fox. Or... Megan Fox. Megan Fox, yeah. I so don't so if she tries know. to take it off, the thorns will stick into her hand. Well, that's just, just crazy. fucking stupid. It is, because it's called a pair of pliers, kids. 
It's called you're an idiot. Anyway, uh, just to fill in what the story says, obviously TJ's already touched on that though. She thinks it, it's cool to be in the game because I'm not really just voicing it. It's like, she's kind of me. No. no. It's a video game character. You're not a vampire. Um, the teaser shows into uh, Natira using her claws, fangs, and aerial ability to fight her way to bloody victory. Now, I will say, just because we're going on a tangent a little bit about Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat has had some very interesting DLC characters. I think we've talked about this before. Well, yeah, they, they put a lot of emphasis on, on getting other licenses and bringing them into the game, do. don't they? You've had a Xenomorph, you've had J Is it Jason? Have they had that Jason? Come I don't on, know. Well, they've had right? Robocop, they've had Terminator, yeah. they've had Alien, Terminator, like say. Uh, Predator's Predator, been in there. Been in, yeah. uh, Rambo. Rambo. Rambo's Rambo. in there. Um, no. Chuck Norris has probably been in there, let's be honest. Chuck Norris would just win. Yeah, Chuck Norris would kill everyone. <laughs> that man's yeah, got like, another fuss beneath That's what they should have done in Alien. Just, ah, oh, fuck it. Call in Chuck. Chuck, <laughs> exactly. Chuck would have fucked them up. <laughs> if they put him in DVD, do you think you'd just walk on? And Mate, get, if Chuck Norris be nope. in DVD, <laughs> the game would break because there'd be too many... Ch Chuck Norris would just punch the entity in the face <laughs> and destroy the realm. Like, <laughs> you know, Chuck Norris he just punches the tree and just wake up and go... Nah, fuck this shit. And that's it. <laughs> round out, comes just round it just roundhouse kick. kicked the air and it would break the fucking the whole game. For those that are interested, more combat one comes to Nintendo Switch Places Revive PC and Xbox Series X on the 19th of September. So if you're interested, it's not far away, kids. It's not far no, away. If you no. want to listen to Megan Fox's nonsense as a vampire lady that she thinks she embodies, then you can do it then. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Uh, right, moving from one crazy to another lot of crazy. We're going to get into a little bit more about the Starfield controversies shortly. But uh, Alana Pierce, now, do you know who Alana Pierce is? I don't. Right, Alana Pierce is a Obviously Australian. A content creator. Yeah, she's a content creator. She used to write for IGN uh, and she's worked away so much so that she's a dev now over at Sony. And because everyone is so so spiteful about how one video game is on a console that it's not on the other console. So someone came out recently about poor Alana Pierce uh, while she was streaming over on Twitch. Uh, she was playing Starfield and she took seven hours to fly from somewhere uh, into Pluto, which then she went straight through Pluto, which is, I think is hilarious. Um, uh, then said that, well, well, I can't believe that uh hold on let me just see if i can find that hold on while you're there. looking for that let me ask this she literally spent seven hours sitting there on a live stream just yep. flying in a straight line for Pluto. Yep. yes she did wow that must have been the world's boringest fucking stream in the history of streaming well she's very pretty so essentially people just stay there just to see alana basically so what are you saying jay what are you saying you're saying she's, I'm saying she's very pretty simps in her channel or something i 100 percent think that. <laughs> um i don't watch her but personally but anyway no. this guy ap or the ap 99 alana pierce should be fired for promoting xbox games on a public platform like this extremely unprofessional and demonstrates the lack of loyalty and seriousness to playstation her employer. Well, did he actually and... put that on her stream or in... No, she put it on Twitter. Because oh, someone okay. had dared to say that you can fly to any planet in Starfield, just takes you hours. Took Alana Pierce seven hours to fly to Pluto here. Uh, he also tags in Corey ba uh, Balog, who is the director for the God of War games, and I think she did one of the voices, or she was a dev oh, okay. on God of War. So, obviously, she, she's actually spoken about out about this now. Um, so she says she has responded saying da, 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 da. the so-called console war doesn't exist among game devs who often work between companies and play each other's games I get that these console fanboys think that they're like this constant, this constant war that there's this like constant war but the truth is that the games industry has people shared around, the, around all the time um, between many of these companies because there are so many jobs available in game development. If there's anything consistent between all the people that I know who work at PlayStation or who work at Nintendo or who work at Xbox is they don't care. So can we stop this silly console war and going after people for playing video games? Can we just calm <sighs> down a little bit? I realise that PlayStation may be your life or Xbox is your life. 
or whatever it is. But don't go after. I mean, we did this about fucking actors, didn't we? Where people went after voice actors. I was just like, thinking guys, the same thing. The, the the woman that voiced Ada Wong. Yeah. Like, Can you jokes. just all calm the fuck down? Like, just seriously, you need to grow up, really. Right? I'm not suggesting that you go out and spend four four thousand pounds on a pc or go and buy a new console but if the game isn't on your system don't go after people just go oh i can't play that game mm. and that's it because that's all there is bitching and whinging about it isn't going to change the fact that you won't be able to play x game on your x console because it doesn't matter not really right it's just sad and pathetic which takes us straight into our main subject of today, which of course is Starfield, because Starfield, Starfield. is a massive thing at the moment on the internet. Starfield uh, is like, even if you're not in the gaming industry, in the in the gaming sphere, like I've had people speak to me like about, oh, what what Starfield? Have you played Starfield? What's it like? Yeah. Like, and they're not Name even gamers. Me. Sorry, guys. No, it wasn't new. <laughs> I'm talking about like people at work because it just seems to like. Yeah, be everywhere. Like all prevalent streamers are talking about it. Yeah. It's had six million players. Apparently. The problem is though, as we're going to discuss, mm. the biggest thing that hit it this week was controversy that is yeah. within the game but kind of transcends the game and it's an unfortunate yeah. that it's been dragged into the this mire. Um and it's a it's 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 just, it's bullshit for the sake of bullshit, isn't it? Like It is. Yeah, it, it 100% is. Especially because it just continues the usual trend you see when a popular game comes out. It's, of course, getting review bombed. So, look, if you've got an issue with a game, perfectly fine. I, no one's got a problem with you having an issue with a game, but me and TJ have talked about this before. Very rarely will you find a game that gets rated zero, which means there's no game, or one, which means it just... Well, there's no music, graphics aren't existent, there's no characters. Like, basically, you've just got someone's idea of a game, which gives it a score of one. If you go out of ten, then everything's got to be broken down into its five sections. Graphics, music, mm. gameplay, uh, story, another one I can't think of. Please tell me below. So, at the moment, obviously, Bethesda's brand new game, uh, Starfield, which is an RPG set in space, very much in the vein of... Skyrim, Morrowind, Fallout, uh, has just recently come out. I mean, it was on early access last week, so we talked about it there, but it has come out to um, general praise from uh, reviewers. But of course, it currently sits on the most useless thing in the world, Metacritic, and it sits at 54 with a mix of positive, mixed, and negative reviews. And that's from, th from 3,000 ratings. But yeah. the critics review, 87. So Which eight, is more in line with what yeah. I'd give it. Um, 8.7. Uh, now, I... Obviously, Jay, very much a space fan. Um, yeah. Loves... Like, has been playing a lot of games. I, I have played the game. Um, it's not the a game that I would normally be drawn to, but I yeah. like. I was like, okay, now I'm going to play a little bit of this. Uh, it's free on Game Pass, a day one. Um, so I downloaded it. Uh, it's quite large. It's 140 yeah. gig. Uh, one point... No, yeah, 140 gig, yeah. I was talking yeah. about... I was about point, like, um, I was going to say 1.4, that's quite low. No, 140 <laughs> gig. Um, you but I have only played a couple of hours of it tops. Um, and the one thing that bugged me, I knew was going to bug me because I it's the my least enjoyable thing along with racing car games, and that's the space flight. That just yeah. like I was just like, oh, this is fucking like when I was trying to shoot stuff in this like yeah, I just don't enjoy this part of it at all, which is fundamentally a large part of the game because it is a space game where you're flying from planet to planet. Um so that part I really didn't enjoy. But the on planet stuff, just getting to grips with a few bits and pieces, yeah. like the gunplay. Is all right it's not amazing it's not terrible graphically it's pretty pretty decent to be honest um i didn't really have many bugs to speak to speak of i thought valco was a little bit annoying as your robot but then he will probably become more like more important later on i imagine as the game goes on i did well, think... he's one of many companions you get up to 10 companions. oh okay fair enough i did feel that and I'm early, like the story kind of throws you straight into this mm -hmm. weird mining thing and then this thing yeah. happens. And it just, like, 
there's a very blank expressionless nature to most of the characters like when so when you start you go and touch something you fucking like wig out you pass out yeah. you've like you see these images and and then when you come to it like how are you <laughs> what did you see can tell are you hasn't played you okay? many Bethesda games <laughs> and i'm like and i'm like cool this is showing a lot of care for me that i've just like you know nearly died but wicked <laughs> then when it's like there's a bit where these um, like pirates come in and land on yep. the planet you're on to try and the attack you. Fleet. The Crimson the Fleet. Crimson and they're fleet. like, oh, no, they must have followed me through space. Oh, shit. It's like, let's get them. It's <laughs> just like, am I watching a 1970s B movie? Because it's like, this is really quite painful. But... <laughs> The f and I am very much an immersive story like we were discussing the other day like my type of game is a very linear I like linear story based games yes. my top three games are currently are um, Last of Us Metal Gear Solid and Until Dawn very move in one direction like uh, you know and then the Uncharted will fill up in my top ten yeah. as well some of the Uncharted games so and at the moment the game that I'm playing at the moment Alien Isolation which I'm in love with and yeah, is very great. close to jumping into that top three um, once again it's another very linear story driven move in one direction game yeah. um, and that's my kind of game it's what I love so the open world I always knew I was going to be like eh, it's going to I'm not going to get the full benefit and love of it like yeah. other people would but the story part of it at the moment is what's not grabbed me i would yeah. say i'm what i said to you jay i'm meh at the moment but i am yeah. going to persevere i feel i need to give the game about 10 hours and if mm -hmm. after 10 hours i'm like because of how big and how vast the game is if i give it 10 hours over the next couple of weeks then i'll i feel i will have played enough to be able to turn around and say it's just not for me or That's maybe it. 10 hours is a little bit too much, but I'll say 10 hours. It's not for me or it is. But I definitely don't think it's not a like it's not a zero or a one. There are definite issues. I would probably give it a six at this moment in time. So that 5.4 is probably fairish, but the only reason it's 5.4 is because it's been review bombed. The people yes. because if you took away the ones that are blatant knobheads that are just doing it for shits and giggles giving it bad reviews shits and giggles not that they actually feel it is a bad game it's probably right. going to be sitting about 7.6 or something yes. like that i would say which is fair um which is fair you know and one uh, of the reviews I read, by the way tj a zero review was uh not very good would be better on playstation like, no, like you're just a knob. Like you're just a knob what would make it better on playstation it's the same fucking game you idiot like what a dickhead <laughs> it's got a million concurrent play, uh, players across all platforms, which is two platforms, PC and uh, Xbox. Yeah. I will say this, uh, just, and I told TJ this before, Bethesda games are renownedly known for crafting your own sort of story. There is a story, but the main joy, and I, I did explain to TJ, is that when you go and do a side mission, it will become like a linear adventure that you'll go through, and that becomes an interesting adventure that you did. It's not about just the main story the main story is obviously always there but for me what i enjoy is for example there is a xeno uh, xenomorph um sort of terramorph they're called uh mission where you go you go and join a group of people and then that storyline just from joining this little group of people then builds into xenomorphs are attacking planets that they shouldn't be on uh, again they give you all the lore of why um and then that builds its own story which is separate from the main story it doesn't affect the main story at all it's just an interesting story that isn't just like most side quests which i find quite boring which is let's just go over here grab these three items then bring them back and thank you here's your credits here's a little bit of experience what this tends to do is build a story and and you play all the way through to its conclusion which can be between you know two missions to be 10 missions maybe in some instances maybe 15 missions um there's another one where you go deep cover so you go into the um the crimson pirates and of course what Bethesda always do is they give you multiple outcomes. So you can decide to side with the uh, Crimson Fleet or you can decide to join the UC on their fleet. The people who originally told you to go and join it. So you can go a bit uh, point break, I suppose, would be uh, mm -hmm. the correct reference. I didn't know that I had a remake, by the way, just going on a little bit of tangent. 
Um, not a great remake. Not a great remake. No, I, I change didn't watch change it the story quite a bit because they 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 rob banks for a different reason, and they they oh, right. thought they follow a thing about like the Seven Rings. I think it is. It's like this old okay. Japanese proverb. No, I'd give me uh, give me more um, Swayze and Reeves. Yeah, Swayze and Reeves in uh, that surf thing. You know what we gotta do, man? We're <laughs> gonna have to go and surf, and then we'll go and rob some banks so we can keep surfing. That's amazing, bro. Um, <laughs> I don't anyway, care. Anyway, getting back reason. to Starfield. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the the joy for a lot of people in in the Fallout and the Skyrims and now your uh, Starfield is that you craft in your own adventure and you're being your own hero and you're enjoying the tale. Now that's all well and good. Not everyone is going to like that format. It it you know it hits the ner- it hits a, a group of people that are into it and then doesn't hit another group. You no. Know, but I, as I've told you before, no game that is fully functional and is working and has good sound and a half decent story will ever really fall below a five for me, because five is average. Five says that this yeah. is a game that works. So you can't really go to your zeros and your ones and your twos. I mean, maybe a four if fundamentally. Well, I don't know. Parts of it don't I don't work. know. Cyberpunk definitely hit below a five. Cyberpunk very good now. Yeah, no, no, no. Now, (laughs) now it is, yes. But when it first came out, that was probably about two because it legit did not fucking work. It didn't work, which is again a very, a very good, reasonable criticism. But if the game is actually working and has good things, even even your most, you know, picky reviewer, such as the Jimquisition, right? You can't really go below a five if it's actually fundamentally working. Yeah, because. It works, which makes it average. So, you know, you can say that you didn't like anything about it, but that's why it never really goes above a four or a five. So to go on there and just to get your fucking weird point across, which is, I'm mad that this game doesn't out of my console, so I'm in a free service it's a situation where I can give it a review and I'm going to tell it to fuck off because it's shit. It's just idiotic, guys. Don't do it. Don't be a moron. Um, of course, this... This not being the only controversy that they've uh, had, is it? So, no. talking, talking <laughs> about also Sony people, Starfield players or people who are playing it are really trying to make it seem like it's a PlayStation thing. I've seen things like Starfield-themed PlayStation 5s. I've seen that people have got mods where they can make the PlayStation logo start at the start. What kind of desperation is this? Because like, I just find it sad, right, guys? I'm not trying to insult anyone, but like, isn't that just sad? Really? Like, it's not on your console, so you're going to go and theme your console over a game that you can't get. I like, mean, the PlayStation is, does look quite cool. I'm not going to deny that it looks quite cool. I like the controller. They've made that look quite funky. Um, but just things like that. I mean, if you're making mods, make the good mods like the DLS support or the field of view slider you know things that they have made but don't make the opening so that you've got playstation studios come up at the start what does that even what i mean i I get it i get it from a troll point of view i really do get it from a troll point of view but more as a troll point of view to take the piss out of playstation like fanboys like if yeah. you're, you're like i've got an xbox how more how much more would it piss us off if i could get this to show up a playstation logo just like oh look it's a playstation yeah. like i don't think that is in es- essence the playstation like uh mafia like going oh like let's do this i think that's more a diehard xbox fan that's like oh i'm gonna fuck the- I'm, 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 just I'm gonna, gonna I'm, just, I'm just gonna take this grenade throw it in there and sit back and go <laughs> <laughs> like you know, I, I see that more as a more as a troll move from from a Microsoft or like from an Xbox fanboy, um, and it's a great troll move in my opinion. Um, the Starfield theme PS5 as well, uh, like it's probably let's be honest, it's probably a digital thing. It's that someone yeah, hasn't actually made that's that. That's what I assume um, it's got to be. No one's going to that extreme, it's, surely. It's, <laughs> it's it's cool. Like I admire the creativity of it because um, it's a definite troll job. Definite troll job. Um, yeah. It's got to. I mean, come on, why would you go to that level of extreme? It, it makes just... no sense for a PlayStation no. fanboy because ultimately, it's it. They're <laughs> still having to play it on PC or Xbox. Yeah, 
It's so, not going to come to a PlayStation because Microsoft. Well, if it does, Bethesda. if it does, it'll be because, like we spoke last yeah. week, Microsoft turned themselves into the Netflix for gaming and sell exactly. themselves as a streaming game streaming service to yes. PlayStation. Uh, mods have caused some kind of controversy, though, being that some of the mod uh, the modder who did the DLSS, which is the NVIDIA sort of um, digital something AI, where it makes the graphics better even on a smaller rig or something. Uh, he's charging five pounds a month subscription for that mod. Until can you believe well, it, that? Well, I can, I can, because at the end of the day, get your money. Mm. Like, you know, if you've put the time and effort and you're the only one offering this, it will be short-lived because someone else who is a very intelligent person in the modding world will be able to code and will be yeah. able to create this. So it's no I'd different. just laugh if NVIDIA did it. Well, there's no different than, obviously, we're streamers. We use yeah. OBS, and there is yeah. a someone who used to make plugins for OBS, and it was always they were always free, and now he's started charging a subscription for oh, his, his bank. for his plugins. Now this guy works his fucking tits off and produces new plugins for shaders, sliders, for everything to be able to manipulate everything with on within OBS. Um uh, so I have like I have no issue. I I my I don't use any of the things that he has, so I don't I don't have no. I don't pay that. But if people want to use that, he's put the time, he's put the effort, he's created something. Should he get something for his creation? Yeah, he probably should do. And like I say, it's short-lived because at some point there will be someone who is just as skilled at him within the modern uh, realm that will be able to code something similar or if not better, um, you know. Yeah, I just, I mean, it, just to give everyone a bit I'm of saying it's, learning super sampling is what DLSS. Uh, I'm, I'm not saying it's, 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 a, it, it's a very community thing to do because it's definitely yeah. not, but... You know, if he's put work into it, the five pound a month is actually a little bit, a little bit wankery. Well, maybe, apparently maybe, he's maybe... got a Patreon, so he does it through Patreon. Yeah, which is still a subscription. You have got to be a member yeah. of his Patreon to have access to the thing. Depends. It also depends what else. If it's your, that's the only thing you're getting. He may have a thousand mods that you're getting yeah, access yeah. to. Um, well, it's pure dark, and pure dark, I think, is quite a big modder in the modern. It might also community. not just be this game. It might be his no, Patreon no, gives you access there. So we're we're looking at this sort of from one aspect of this DLSS um, mod, but he might have a thousand mods for twenty different games. Like he I mean, might... it's already been cracked, so people are getting it for free anyway. Cause yeah, well, people people always do, mate. That's just um, how it works. So and but then yeah, you are going to have the people that that will be loyal to him, and they're like, "Thank you for doing this," and I will subscribe to your Patreon yeah. because you know I would imagine this guy's got a shit ton of stuff. In all yes. honesty, for to do a I monthly thing, got he's got a shit ton, a shit ton of different uh, plugins and, and and mods and stuff that you can use. Um, so, but I mean, it. I mean, it's caused controversy because obviously people used like getting things for free and then don't like paying for things. Even doesn't matter how much hard work the people have come into. Obviously, people still um, do pirated games and things. You know, talking about it, just sorry, just quickly, yes. like the know, the no. the. Modding is something that I'm surprised we don't hear more people bitch about in terms of, you know, we're talking about consoles, like console yeah. to PC, because you can't mod, you like, like modding stuff on consoles. It's like literally. No, modern, not, unless, um, not unless the game devs, not unless the game devs allow it. So yeah, just mean, talking about this, which is Skyrim and, and Fallout, the mods are actually on there now. Yeah. So there's a mod store and you can um, put mods in. Yeah, because there is on, there is on, um, on subnautica as well um yeah. there are mods and stuff you can get on the on, on console but like for a large portion they're like it's non like it's not it's not a, a, an option is it's not available to you you know um no, no. and i'm surprised that a lot more people don't moan about that aspect of pc gaming because, PC Roots! <laughs> because you see you see like how much like i play um like i've been playing valheim recently with a couple of yeah. members of my community playing it with mods on is so much better than than just the base. What kind game. of mods do they use? Out of it, uh, more animals, um, yeah. different building techniques, um, like just the enable the ability to like like 
messing with the landscape and stuff it may like oh, so okay, like yeah. flattening the land to build your bases and stuff on there's ways and means to do it um that you set up a plinth and the plinth kind of like does an area for you because yeah. that's like trying to get ground level it's fucking terrible um it gives you extra building like like i say different types of ships that you can build different type of building yeah. materials houses and so on and so forth that's now these giant weird looking fucking rabbits in it um dragons um yeah. different types of dragons are in it um and, and like, like Thomas the Tank Engine on no there's not a Thomas the Tank Thomas Engine, Tank Engine. Mate, mate, it's, it's the Viking era mate the, like, there's no Thomas there's no train <laughs> that's tracks never stopped anyone putting Thomas the Tank there's Engine never, into there's, almost everything no, there's not fucking train tracks where's he gonna go um <laughs> Do, 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 do. Oh, here comes do. Thomas. Um, no, so. Um, and Thomas entered into the world of Valheim. <laughs> he was quickly slain. <laughs> it was, uh, it's it's very much a um, a better experience playing it with mods on. Well, I mean, mods are there for a reason. Um, most of the time, you tend to find with mods that they'll disable the achievements. So if you're an achievement uh, grabber, then essentially you won't be able to get your achievements. But I don't really see the harm in mods, provided it's not just. Infinite health, infinite life, infinite, 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 infinite. Yeah, because anything surely... that's not going to enable you to just cruise through the game without any jeopardy. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, don't be wrong, I understand that people struggle with games, but part of the game is to struggle and find a way through that. Uh, talking about struggling, while well, we're still on about uh, star, uh, Starfield, about, say, Star Citizen, can you imagine? People have to know. Um, some people have been struggling with one aspect mm. of uh, Starfield, haven't they, TJ? Yeah. Haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> Some people be getting angry. Yeah, very angry. Over very, very something. Angry. <laughs> yeah. It's a, bit... it's a bit sad to get angry about this fact in this year, in, 20... in the year of our Lord 2023. Yeah. Being that acceptance should be accepted everywhere. And if you've got such a problem with people and how they want to refer to themselves in, say, I don't know, pronouns, maybe. <laughs> pronouns! <laughs> pronouns! Don't they want me to give my gender, but there's a he, she way or a she, him way or a they way? No, oh. I won't have this. <laughs> so. Um. So uh, obviously, fuck down. Yeah. So if like, yeah, we we've we've got a couple of little videos to show you. If you're yeah. listening audio, like on Spotify, you'll hear the audio. Um, it kind of like the sh so the game went live on Friday. No, uh, what day? Friday was it? early access. Wednesday was when it came. Yeah, Wednesday. Like. Friday was early access. So there were a lot of people like giddy. Yeah, let's get on. And then and then by Saturday there was uh, the shit hit the fan. Um, yeah. I was talking about this on my stream on Sunday. Um, that I did uh, I did a pop-up stream on Sunday and there's this one gentleman um he's quite a prevalent youtuber I would say he's got yes. like a, a a fair following um and uh, he went on a little bit of a ranty rampage um and we've got a couple of videos to show you uh, the first yep. video that we're going to show you is his stream that he did on Friday when he first realized that the pronouns were in the game um and then the second video that will follow it will be that he took on the Saturday, which is when he did his second Starfield stream. And he uh, played the game for a little bit. Then he paused and went, oh, I need to speak to Bethesda directly and used his stream to do so. And went on a rant, which will last about two and a half minutes. So if you, if you do find this content offensive in any way and you want to skip, probably skip forward about four yeah. minutes, I'd say, from this point four on. Minutes. Um and then uh, and then rejoin us and we'll give you our opinion but uh yeah we'll just uh, we'll just start the first video now going industrialist there we go i did it what name he what what ne he him he So there you've just seen the first video. That's his first playthrough of the game where he comes upon it and is shocked and surprised that there are pronouns he, him, she, uh, they, them. My personal thing is this is not the first time he's seen this. No. And because the way he reacted to that was so over the top in that split yep. second, his eyebrows popped off the top of his bald head. Um, like it was like yeah it was just it, it was so fake like if I, it like was. 
I've seen Doctor Disrespect's video where we saw it, and it was like, huh, hold on a second. And then went and did something else, which we'll talk about yeah. in a bit. But it was like, it's fuck. Like, it was, it was like, uh, what? Uh, what? And literally, his eyebrows are fucking, they're off the screen. Yeah. They're that high at this point. Never seen fucking, like, it, it'd give the rock a run for his money. He um, really would. And it was, yeah, it's just, it's just, it just come across as so fake. Yeah. So, so fake. Just so over the top a reaction to that kind of thing. I'll be honest, I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice in my game. It was so fucking instant as well that it was like, what, 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 what? The minute, as if he knew it was happening. So he picks industrialist, I think he said it was. Yeah. And then it's like, click, what, what? It's like the screen barely come up saying pronouns yeah. he, him. And he was like, what, what? Um, he, him, he, yeah. him. Calm but, down, um, dude. Jesus Christ. But yeah, that then obviously led into the next day, which was, like I say, his next Starfield stream. And he pulled out this little rant. I just want to say something to you, Bethesda. I just want to say a little, little something. There is nothing I love more. Taking my headphones off, fuck that. Bethesda, there is nothing I love more than to, to, to sit down, comfy chair, turn on my PC, fire up a brand new RPG, uh, uh, lose myself, think, oh my God, just think of this world. Just think of all the planets I can visit, all the immersive things that I can get involved with, all the fights, all the relationships, all the people I meet, all the places I go. I'm so excited to go there. And you know, I love nothing more than with all of that laid out in front of me. I love nothing more than to be dragged out at every fucking conceivable opportunity so you can fucking current day us. Sorry, did you want to get immersed in our world? Yeah, well, guess what? Fucking pronouns! Fucking gender ambiguity! fucking current day californian shit because that's all we fucking know because we're boring we're so fucking boring we can't see past our own fucking reflection that's the level of our narcissism here at bethesda western game company Fuck your immersion. Fuck you having a good time. Fuck you falling into a world and just getting lost. No, no, no. Current fucking day. Fuck off. You're boring. You're fucking dull. You have nothing to say. You are a one hived mind twat waffle. That's all you fucking are. And you wonder why people are getting so fucking sick and tired. You take everything we love, all our immersions, all our fantasies, all our escapism, and you just can't help shovel your dog shit fucking crap ideology into everything, every single solitary fucking thing. Someone didn't fucking the, <laughs> take his fucking pills that the, morning, did he? The best part about that whole video is that the minute the rant is over, he starts the game. It's fucking great. It's like, it's great. this fucking Bethesda, you fire. Oh, I'm going to play the game. It's so boring. So, well, like, you like, could just turn it off, mate. You not to 100. Play it. Like, like, so <laughs> we spoke about this. Oh, the, I didn't see the original video, for, like the 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 initial where he first sees the him here. Or the, 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 no. Sorry, the the pronoun he him. Um, I saw originally. I saw the video of his big rant that we've just seen there. Right. And I said to Jay, like, this guy's a fucking fruitcake. And you turned around and said, oh, it's so uh, what was um boring. No, no, no. You said <laughs> sta uh, stage, didn't you? It's yeah, like, you know, felt stage. And I was just like, oh, I, d I don't know. I think this guy might legitimately be a fucking nut job. Um, and so I, unfortunately for myself, but for the good of the pod, mm. did some research and actually went onto this guy's YouTube and watched some of his VODs. Um, yeah, he's he very much, this isn't the f a first controversy for no, him. No, no. This is just the one that's gone viral. Um, yeah. 
he is very much of this ilk in his beliefs. Um, he brings it up multiple times before in a lot of his other videos. Um, and But he's now obviously made some kind of mainstream uh, like media news with it. And so he's running with it and being even yeah. more of it. I will say, like, the one hive mind twat waffle, I did find that hilariously funny, actually, to be fair. Yeah, you know, twat waffle fucking I'll, trademark by I'll, the end I'll, of the week, mate. Like, twat waffle is quality. <laughs> um, like, it's up there with Cockwomble. I love that name. <laughs> Cockwomble is brilliant, and now twat waffle is, is I think, is just as good. Um, but largely, yeah, just just a ignorant fucking viewpoint over yeah. something so I, mundane. Just, like, like just, my view on it is has always been the same. I, I I don't really have an issue with what you want to refer to yourself as. No. I, obviously, I do voice acting and a bit of acting work, and at some point they made me put he, him. Mm -hmm. But I didn't feel personally attacked. To shout, it's so fucking, you're sniffing this current, current thing day. in. Mm -hmm. I'm like, does it matter in space? I'm pretty sure that once we've travelled to the stars that most people have got over the fact that people want to be referred to as something else. And I don't, I don't, I just don't see what the issue is. I don't see how it draws him out of no. his game. I wonder, yeah. like going back to a conversation we had last week, I wonder if he watched Aliens mm. and was like, when he realised like Lambert was yeah. like transgender, I wonder if he like fucking spat his coke out and went, fuck out! Yeah. James Cameron, 1984, <laughs> fucking current day, and it's in 1984! <laughs> James <laughs> fucking Cameron! <laughs> Like just like, Quack, what a fuck? Yeah, like you know, like you know, it's, oh, it's just, uh, and, and it leads on like even more prevalent is uh, is is the Doctor Disrespect video. Yes, yeah, Doctor Disrespect also got some sort of big issue. His, with well, his pronouns. was more. No, see, I think his is less about the actual pronouns itself, but I think he's right. more butt hurt. So the Doctor Disrespect was he are Starfield to be um, like a, a, an early, to have early access to the game and like, can he do something with Starfield? Starfield were like, due to previous controversies, unfortunately, we do not want to be in the Dr. Disrespect business. Yeah. Uh, that previous controversies, I do believe would stem with the Nick Merck stuff um, mm -hmm. that happened recently. We won't go into that. Um, so when he saw the he him, he kind of paused. He didn't. His eyebrows didn't blow off the top of his head, but he kind of paused and went, "Hang on a sec, I need to check something." Then went on yeah. to Twitter, looked up the Twitter bio of the main game dev. The main game dev had his pronouns in his bio, and he's like, "Ah, oh, yeah. I see. I get it now. I get it." And then he elaborated on the story that he asked them to be a part of it. They said no. So he then goes, "Oh, well, can I at least like have a key to play the game early?" And they were like, "Once again." No, no, don't really want to be seen to be working with you. If you want the game, yeah. pay for it pretty much. But largely, he is, I think, enjoying the game, Dr. Disrespect, from the little bits that I've seen of, like, around his, his channel. He's giving his review at 7.1. Which, which, which isn't which a bad is review. It's, a, you know. Um, it's fair. And, uh, and so, um, you know, but, so he has a more butthurt, personal, like, thing towards Bethesda and that, I think. Yeah. Um, than than say the heels versus babyface guy, yeah. um, who like I say, who just downright he does like has had some very poor takes in my opinion, um, having to listen to some of his vods and watch some of his previous content, um, um, but ultimately the problem I see like is when I watched that video, you can definitely see he's built himself an audience around yeah. this. He wants uh, the, the right wing sort of, you know, liberal haters. Well, that a lot are, of the commenters that the, the were in his live chat. So I watched the VOD yeah. back of the of the live of the live feed, and a lot of them are like saying very similar things to him. Mm -hmm. It's definitely breeding a an environment of, um, uh, I won't say, I'm not going to say hate speech, but of no. uh, uh, of some uh, unsavory thoughts um, yes. and viewpoints. Um, and yeah, I just like at the end of the day, I haven't played enough into the game. Maybe you can enlighten me more. Like, 
or do they speak to you in the game using your pronouns at all? Like when they're like, are you Not referenced that I, everyone in the just game? refers to you as captain. So okay, okay, because obviously if they do, then it's you know you could understand. I'm, the reason I'm just saying that is because if your pronouns are brought up several times in the game, maybe later on in the game, past where you are now or something, I don't know. Then obviously you can understand people who don't see themselves as he, him, or she, her. They are a them, they, or you know, then their representation is important the same as it is important to everyone else so they don't want to be you know have the wrong pronouns used during the game obviously we can't put every pronoun in the game because there is nope. a lot um there is you know the game's already 140 gig um you know if we start adding in every pronoun it would probably be 300 gig um mm -hmm. <laughs> how many how many messages right. um <laughs> but no but no um i jest no um so i do feel that like I don't, I don't have an issue with it and actually someone oh there was what was the game that come up that someone said pronouns were in that game as well and like no oh. one's even realized um, Bald, um Baldur's gate three uh no no no, it wasn't Baldur's gate three. Oh, something so i got gets... a comment here from an andrea uh picker i suppose that's how you say that people outraging and refunding starfield because pronouns uh because of a pronouns option one single time at the character creation when when Baldur's Gate three literally lets you fuck a bear, <laughs> which I think oh, yeah, quite it, amusing. Uh... I mean, there's a few games that have got pronouns. You know, I just I don't. It was I just don't. I, I just don't really get it. Like, if people just want to, you know, especially in a game that's got a character creation. Some people want to reflect themselves in the game. I think it was probably Hogwarts Legacy that did something similar. Uh, um, I don't remember, but no, it was, I, it was a game. Oh, my God, you've just spoke about. I'm literally just looking on Twitter. There is a Thomas the Tank Engine Vasco. Well, yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's in everything, mate. Fuck can't off. Escape. <laughs> you can't escape, Thomas. Fuck He's off. in the stars now, <laughs> TJ. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, um, God. Yeah, so but a lot of people just go against it because for me, I totally understand it in a character creation because if you're going to try and make yourself or at least try and put yourself in that universe, then you probably want some representation of yourself. You know, you want to think that you're this or that or, you know, should it come up? I don't know whether it comes up later in the game. I mean, there's relationships, right? So relationships generally tend to throw a, a spanner in those works. People... You can relation anyone, can't you now, in games? Oh, wow. So, okay, right. carry, no, carry on. I've got something to bring up quite important, actually, with right. this. So, for me, I, I understand that in character creation, you know, if you're he, he, uh, he, he, oh, sorry, he, him, or she, her, or they, them, and you're trying to, you know, get a sense of yourself in that world, then I don't see what the harm is, personally. I just, I don't see how... So many people feel super affected that some people want to refer to themselves as things. You know, it, it 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 just seems like it doesn't make so much of an impact that you have to have that what feels to me like a very, very over the top reaction to it. It just seems like look, all right, just put he him then and just carry on. Like what is it really affected you in such a way where you've got to shout twat waffle at the, the top of your lungs? Or feel that because a game dev puts he, him in their Twitter feed, that you feel that, what, is it a personal attack at you? Or can you not move with the time? I mean, he, him, and she, her, and they, them, it's been around for a while now, hasn't it? It's not, it's not brand new news. I've I found the other game. It was oh, okay. um, just found out Cyberpunk has pronouns. There is apparently a section in there where it's that other characters will refer to V with female pronouns, i.e. she, her, voice tone, feminine. It's a selector that you can change the voice tone. Um, but right. yeah, it has the pronoun for she, her in there. Um, so, and that's just Cyberpunk. Um, right. But Another game that they loved on release. But, um, <laughs> big thing, Nexus Mods. Right. So, um, where is it? Uh, Nexus mods are banning Starfield mods that remove pronouns. People have actually made a mod 
um, that obviously goes through Nexus mods where you can, it, it removes the pronoun. Um, and Nexus website update, uh, they have made an official announcement. They will stand against transphobia, bigotry, and their platform has no room for hate. Any mods that promote this will be removed. We are winning. Starfield is groundbreaking in so many ways, socially, culturally, and economically. Um, so Nexus mods, I mean, well done, Nexus mods, not allowing, yep. um, obviously, whoever's, uh, obviously, I imagine Nexus mods, I've never used Nexus mods, but I imagine they're a hub that people can upload Oh, there's loads mods of mods on there for millions people, of games. Yeah, on. that people, but they're like the central like hub essentially that you can upload your mod, like your whatever to it for other people. Yeah, yeah is what I mean. Yeah. That's it, yeah. So um, yeah, so uh, that's actually uh, you know kudos to them. Uh, that's yeah, quite I agree. cool. Um, but like, but like I said, I, I don't, I can't understand going to that extreme. Like. Again, he, just he's tick extreme. Your box and move on. His extreme well, is 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 uh, for, cl- for not for clout. Uh, it's a def- it's definitely for to to like chasing viewership because yeah. um, there is a, um, a a social commentator, a political yeah. commentator called Hassan Piker, Hassan Arbi, um, who I'm not a massive fan of for various reasons, things that he said. I think he's trodden on people's personal lives a little bit too much yeah. with certain things he said, uh, things that I don't feel he, like, it's none of your business to say. Um, but that's a, like I say, different story, different day. Yeah. Um, he turned around and said that this is a reason why we should bring back lobotomies. This British guy showing why we should bring back lobotomies. And then he then made a response video f- of, like, I don't know, 10 minutes or whatever. Um yeah where he just went on and picked up on some um, Hassan Piker comments back in the day when he used to work for the Young Turks uh, and his right. uncle, who I believe owned the Young Turks, Cenk Yuga, um, right. and their points of view and other bits and pieces because they were like a news media channel. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it's just it's definitely chasing definitely chasing clout. Um, well, the, the problem is that is it's, it's sort of a, especially in the content creation world, um, it's it's garnering that audience, isn't it? If you start saying things that are going to get you an extreme view, then you'll get the extreme viewers come over to you. Do you know what I mean? Being a content creator, being a successful content creator is I equate it to catching lightning in a bottle. I agree. Like there is such a saturated market, um, especially on like Twitch and YouTube, that it's very difficult to stand out. It's very yeah. difficult to make your mark. Um, you know, for instance, for instance, I was looking at, uh, I was going through my chat the other day looking at viewer numbers and other, and there's a wonderful tool called Twitch Tracker. Now, I don't really follow my numbers. I have over a thousand um, followers on, yeah. on Twitch. I have a concurrent viewership of around 12 to 15. Um, and then my max number coming in, my max views is X, Y, and Z, whatever. Yeah. I now, now, I don't class myself as a big streamer at all. There are seven and a half million active streamers, not viewers, streamers, who hit that go live button yeah. um, on Twitch uh, f- across the globe. Now, keep that in mind, seven and a half million. I, with my concurrent viewers of uh, like 12 to 15, roughly around that kind of area, I am in the top 200,000 streamers on Jesus. Twitch. Christ. Like... Which you would turn around, and if you were to put that, forget the number, forget the how many what my concurrent views. If I turned around to you and said, "Oh yeah, I'm in the top two hundred thousand out of seven and a half million. Holy shit, yeah, I'm fucking like... massive! Like, yeah. but in terms of numbers, I'm not. But it just shows how many people are out there doing exactly the same thing I do that are streaming to one, two, three, four viewers. Yeah. It's so hard for discoverability. YouTube's a little bit easier because you, you like uh, the way it works, the VODs and everything. It is a VOD. Mm-hmm. It is YouTube's a VOD channel, whereas yeah. essentially Twitch is a live streaming platform. People don't go on there to watch VODs. People go on there to watch live streams. People go on YouTube essentially to watch VODs um, yeah. and to you know. Um, and so it's it's very difficult. Like I say, catching lightning in a bottle, being successful, and if you found find. A, a pathway that leads you to, to that success to that success you're going to move you're, you're going to head in that direction yeah, and you're going to try and and garner everything you can get from being in like you know and so this guy 
going to that extreme. Like I say, he's definitely chasing the clout. Um, he knows he's going to have an audience. He's gained an audience. He's yeah. done well to like it. Like I say, he's a very prevalent YouTuber in his numbers. Yeah. Um, and this will probably make him explode even more. He's a yes. meme everywhere. And uh, like I said, no news. No, sorry. Is it, no news is bad news. Is that the saying? I no, can't... no, no. It's um, all new. Uh, isn't it all news is good news? Or I thought or no news is bad. I can't, I can't the, 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 the ultimate thing is that, uh, that it's like even bad news being spoken about you, you're yeah. still being spoken about. So someone exactly. is talking about you, which is always okay. good. Because even if means, you're controversial, you'll get means, the yeah, attention. It means people. you are garnering attention from um, the, yeah. uh, the mass. Um, and he is, if you were to just go, like I literally just went on to Twitter. We call it Twitter. It's not X over here. It's Twitter. Right, um, and I just literally typed in the search filter pronouns. Okay. He is fucking all over it. Yeah. All over it. Memes, videos of him, star fields all over it. They are the thing yeah. that takes up the most uh, because it's obviously like current uh, in the news. But he is like you literally every third post has a picture of him in it, essentially. Um, it's uh, so he's fucking everywhere. Um, so he's he's going to benefit from it. He will. He'll his his from... viewership will go up. He will get yeah. a lot. He he will get a load of people come into his chat who just now want to slag him off. Um, <laughs> and he does the thing that I hate the most. Like I have a very thing where family is left out of shit. Yeah. I was literally listening to his vod and someone come in and said, "Oh, you're the fucking pronouns wanker and all this lot." Yeah. And he's gone, yeah. Uh, and I screwed your mum last night while your dad was in the corner crying. And I'm like, what the, like, and then he banned the person. I'm like, that's just a cunt move, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, like, I, I, I'm, I've always been one that's like, you know, what the, f why, why, like, you're, you're that intellectually stupid, Stunted. like yeah. that. That's the best you can come up with. Is like, oh, I fucked your mum. <laughs> it's like, what are you seven? You fucking imbecile. Yeah. Yes. Back on the schoolyard, like, are you? Uh, that's what I mean. It's like, you know, get some new material. Actually, like, you know. Be funny and not like a absolute cretin. Um, but be yeah. sharp, make it fast, make it wit. <laughs> exactly. Got new yes, edits. coach. <laughs> yes, coach. Fucking vinegar in the eyes. <laughs> That's a gentleman reference, people. Gentleman. It is. Great film. Great film. Great film. But absolutely yeah, absolutely uh, fantastic scene. Like, I'm glad that Nexus mods are, are, are banning the the, the non pronoun. Uh, removal, yeah, uh, or the I'd... pronoun removal, I should say, uh, mods. Um, and yeah, just I kind of, I kind of want now there to be like a backlash from game devs, and now every game to just go double down and go fuck you all and yeah. put pronouns in fucking every game. Um, that's exactly every, what I every, do. Ga like, every oh, game that's got then. a character character, yeah, character selection creation. in it, you know, a character creation in it. Um, just you know, just to double down and be like, you know, yeah, yeah. just like fuck him. Fuck him and his, his one fucking warrior army going for mm. for how people want to describe themselves in 2023. It's current. Yeah, it, it is current. That's exactly what it is. It's current. That's how people are feeling. People are wanting to be respected for their, their choices of their own body. So, like, what, 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 what's your big issue? What's your big issue? Would, you know, should I just start calling you a, a bald fucking cunt every single time with that? You know, that's perfectly fine. No, exactly. Of course it's not. Um, the one thing I would say, if you if you did watch that video with us or if you've seen that mm -hmm. video previously, I would definitely chill out, dude, because you are a heart attack waiting to happen. Yes. Your head God. nearly exploded in that video. It went a, like it was the same color as my hat by the end of it. Oh, my days. That geezer's going to, like, he's, he's live on yeah. stream. Also, go find your eyebrows. They they shot off your head at some point. So probably <laughs> lying around your room somewhere. Gone. <laughs> it's like, I fucked them on the ceiling. I can't reach them. Um, like a Looney Tune video. Uh, but yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> it was like, uh, but yeah, unfortunately, yes, there are there are these people out there and there are these people that are, um, unfortunately, have voices and have followings. So, you know... Maybe my advice to maybe go out, touch some grass, maybe touch a girl. Who knows? Maybe your whole opinion will change. Who knows? Hey, eh? touch a boy, touch a girl, whichever you want. Go touch a them person. Go and, go and, go and, go and see how that makes you feel. But uh, see how you make you feel. One doth protest yeah. too much, wasn't that the saying? Yeah, one does protest too much. Like I say, that first video, especially like that sort of stunted and 
by the way, kids, uh, doing this don't mean shit. It no. don't mean shit. <laughs> no. I've got to fuck that. I'm actually kind of, I'm actually kind of, I'm actually kind of glad that he took it off because I think he might have shouted even louder. Because you know, generally, like the reason your wife come in and moans at you, and the yeah. reason I'll, I might get a text message or a message on stream telling me to be quiet is because with the headphones on, you you do become louder because yeah. You because you can't hear your own voice as clearly. You do up the volume in your voice generally. Yes, and I do 100%. think like he, he may well have blown his mic if he hadn't have taken them off because he would have been screaming even louder than what he fucking was. Mate, I was going to have to tell you like when we when we finish this again, you have to turn him down a bit though, dude. Because <laughs> Jesus Christ, my eardrums can only take so much. He hit uh, the fucking seven hundred on the decibel meter. It's yeah, it's fucking crazy absolutely i'll be crazy. billing him for fucking new earphones being these broke these no fuck new ear drums mate Don't know new ear drums yeah but Just make but, sure yeah, my ears so, aren't bleeding yeah <laughs> Unfo it's unfortunate um but you know yeah i mean ultimately all you can say is you know starfield one it's a game on xbox and pc get over it um it's got pronouns you... get over it yeah pronouns maybe just get over it it's it's probably going to be around to stay and all the shouting and the losing of eyebrows that you can do and throwing of headsets isn't going to change that. And as TJ rightly pointed out, I hope all games of the character creation start putting pronouns in just go so I can watch another one of his head explode videos. Um, maybe for real. How many views would that get? Maybe try that one next time. Head just explodes into a mass of mush. Um, I right. think actually, Carol, Carol. Well, I was just say, like, so I'm just thinking, it, like, what is the difference, yeah, of putting, like, so, uh, like, you have all these choices, you have all these things, like, why, why does it make a difference? That's my like, point, mate. You it choose how, okay, so, so, so people are choosing how they wish to live their lives, like, uh, uh, and how they wish to be, um, uh, um, um, like spoken, not spoken about, how they were referred to. Um, yes. Okay. So, uh, like throughout the whole character creation, like, do you have a problem with like the like the haircut you pick, like the haircut choices that are in the game? You know, I like, do sometimes. They never like, be do spiky. You, no, do you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm being, I'm being thinking, but like, do, like the fact that you've got ten different. Oh fuck! Did he moan? Oh fucking industrialist is an option to pick. <laughs> oh fucking industrialist. Oh, what does it? Oh, courage. No, 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 no. What the fuck? Like, I don't, don't. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's a. Uh, why are you pick? Why are you picking fucking anything? Yes, if you don't exactly. like the fact that people are choosing how to refer to themselves, like you have a problem with with everything that you have to choose then. Because okay, yeah. like I, I I I just don't I mean there's there's kind of a point in what I was trying to say there I didn't really do justice in the point I was trying to make but I know what I mean um yes, like I, it, I just I don't, don't I don't yeah I just don't I don't get it it's like what does it okay you are you see yourself gentleman bald man with weird eyebrows yeah. you see yourself as a he him yes cool so... well done you someone else sees themselves as a they them cool does that so... hurt you no if. If it had just been male and female and then other, would that have affected him in the same way? Or oh, fuck knows. Is that okay? I mean, where where does it where does it stop? Where where does it stop? Does it is it just because it says he him and she she her? Is that the is that the crux of it? Is that what it is? Is it, you know you've just taken a digital it's a larger character. it's a the, the thing is it's i mean we can a analyze this through the through what the, how he's done it through the video game but it's a larger argument isn't it like he he like if you actually go back and watch there is a larger argument that he well, yes because he thinks he's pushing agenda yes that's, that's the yeah. main thing he um, he's pushing agenda which you know i, I just don't yeah I, I just look Unfortunately, I think the agenda's already sort of been pushed and now they're just being accepting that it's it's occurred and it doesn't really take anything away from the game and maybe it affects your life that when you fill out a form now for your benefits that you've got to put he, him. I don't know. Like, it just seems, seems benign to me. If we, we spoke a little while ago. Like quite, I don't know if you remember it when we spoke about cyberpunk. Not on right. a pod, just a conversation, me and you. We were talking about cyberpunk. Um, 
no, I think it was actually to do. I think it was about the pod, but we didn't speak about it on the pod about the glitches and issues with Cyberpunk. And yes. we were talking about the customization of characters within the game, not that your particular game, but how characters are portrayed in the game and the uh, like how the future of society will move forward with m- like yep. body modification, yes. like with potentially Android parts and everything uh, mm-hmm. uh, and all this. It's like it's just an evolution of yeah. the human uh oh, uh you know, of humans Race, I guess. like in the fact that, uh, of like people are seeing themselves in a different light people are understanding yeah. and realizing that they don't fit into the social norms that have been a uh a, 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 well, a, a but, const- but that's like anything no one dresses in victorian clothes anymore because you changed and everything, because changed. everything everything's moved on and we've become more like the shackles of obviously that people were tied down by like being like a homosexual back in the yeah. day it's it's a fucking sin it's this it's that yeah. like it's we're a very much more accepting for the large well, part culture now we are a mul- more a multicultural society the world yeah. in general because we are more open there is more access now than ever before to to everyone um yeah. with the like the internet and everything so obviously it means everything's going to move forward people are going to become better versions of themselves um yeah. and and like it's 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 everyone has a right to feel comfortable in their own skin exactly everyone has a right to feel comfortable in their own skin now whether that be that you want to dress like a female and you were medically born or originally born as a male whether you don't feel you feel into any of those two categories and you want to be an amalgamation of both like you still have a right to feel comfortable in your own skin i mean fuck in this podcast this podcast today we talked about world suicide prevention right it causes a lot of suicides when people don't feel comfortable in their own flesh so take a chill pill right I'm not saying you have to get on board, but you have got to move with the times yeah. and let people feel happy about themselves. If it's not affecting you, I don't care that you're a he, him, male, man. I, like, I, like, I don't, no one's going to your streams going on at him for being the way he wants to be. I mean, we're poking fun at him now because he almost blew his top. And we're poking fun at him because he's a fucking idiot. Yeah, because exactly. so, like he's made a mountain out of a, an essential molehill, like to and he'll, he'll get views. paid for it. Yeah. The worst thing about it, he'll get paid for that. Yeah. He will make money out of that, out of someone else's pain, really, in my opinion. Yeah, hundred percent. So you know, just he final is, thoughts on it, really. I suppose my it's final thought that... is he is, and he's he's viewership following. It's a one hive mind bunch of twat yeah, waffles. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> no, couldn't have been said any better myself. And then, <laughs> Might lose my eyebrows. If that's the only <laughs> thing that I'm taking from that guy's rant, I'll take that because I quite like twat waffle. I think it's a quality <laughs> thingy. The rest of it, fuck off and get in the bin, you loser. Exactly. Get in the bin, fucking knob. <laughs> uh, right. Talking about one thing, TJ has let's come up with Let's lift it a... back up. Come yeah, on. Let's lift it back up. Make it fun again. Uh, TJ's come up with a game, haven't you, TJ? You're going to gonna torment me. I can't make it. Torment well, me. well, I was like, you know, I'm thinking, oh, we should, we, should, we should have a little bit of fun back and forth, like, you know, each week. And like, we do a little game. So far, it's this. We haven't thought of a name yet. If you think no. of a good name for it, then um, put it in chat. But each week, one of us is going to take it in turns to ask the other five questions they're going to be movie tv game related it could be movie theme songs that we're going to play tv theme songs it could be movie tv quotes it could be game soundtracks it could be uh, character names from games name that game yeah. by the character um it's all going to be audio based as opposed to yeah. video because although, even though this is on youtube it doesn't really play well for 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 podcast listeners on spotify and other podcast platforms um yeah. so i am going with jay are you? Um, Giggity. Well, well, well okay. Cool. <laughs> um, bear with for two seconds. Uh, Tell the wife. It's over. It's over, cat. <laughs> TJ wants me now. <laughs> he doesn't care about me being loud late at night. <laughs> I welcome it. <laughs> um, 
So uh, I just had to. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm going to. It's uh, movie taglines. So the taglines yes. that were on the posters for the movies. It's five. Um, I want to see how many you get. Some of them are super easy. Some of them. One of them I really don't know if you'll get it. Um, but I didn't want to go too that I don't super know, like hard. French no, no, no. I've kind of. Yes, it's uh, the color. <laughs> the color purple. Um, no. Um, so, okay. So literally, it's just a tagline that would have been on the poster or used in the promotional material. Um, right. Can you guess? So, number one. Okay. Play along with this, kids. Play along with it. You'll never go in the water again. It's got to be Jaws, surely. Well done. One out of one, Jaws. <laughs> Okay, the second one. Nice planet. Yeah. We'll take it. Is it Mars Attacks? Whoa, he got it. I think you might get five <laughs> out of five here. <laughs> Number three. You'll believe a man can fly. Oh, I do know this one. I do You'll know believe this one. a man can fly. I was going to go... It's not Superman, is it? It's not obvious Superman. It's Superman. Okay. <laughs> I need to make this harder next week. Okay. This one I don't know if you'll get, okay? But I didn't think you'd get Mars Attacks, but okay. So this one is, there's something about your first piece. There's something about your first piece. First piece. <laughs> I am struggling with this one. I'm trying to work out if it's a game piece or these are all movies but uh... oh no i can't I, I, i'm drawing a it blank it was it was a surprise smash hit which garnered multiple sequels right okay multiple okay. sequels what was the tagline again there's something about your first piece. Something about your first piece. And you've got multiple sequels. Surprise it. Oh, what could it be? What could it be? What could it be? You have definitely 100% seen this. 100%. If I give you, if I give you a quote from the movie. Yeah, yeah. Right, what? It's like warm apple pie. Oh, um, it's got to be American pie. Amer American pie, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just, honestly, I wouldn't have thought that was the Jim, tagline. Jim, Jim goes and fucks an apple pie. He does. Um, it all comes back to that fucking pie, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and last one. Same make, same model, new mission. Same make, new... Okay, okay. Same make, same model, new mission. I'm thinking Herbie, but it can't be Herbie. It's definitely not fucking Herbie. <laughs> fucking hell. I get Herbie where you're going. when he goes on a kill spree I, and I just get, murders everybody. It's, <laughs> it's obviously the sequel. Um, yeah. Massive. Massive film. All right, let's talk less about my penis. <laughs> um. Um, and don't, I, I get where you're thinking maybe like um, cars, but don't think cars. Don't think cars. No. Okay. Same make, same model, okay. new mission. Okay. I'm trying to think what else it could be. Think iqu iqu iconic? Iconic. Iconic. Iconic quotes. Iconic quotes. Iconic quotes. This, the this has spawned. This franchise has spawned a shit ton of them. See, I keep thinking that it's Fast and the Furious or whatever they called Fast and the Furious. Older. Fast Two Furious. Older. 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 Okay. Same make, same model. Original eighties sequel, early nineties, I believe. Maybe ninety. Two. I might have to look that up actually. Now that I fucking, <laughs> that I fucking said that. I'm wrong, I'm wrong, lads. <laughs> so no, 91. 91. 91. The sequel was 91. 91. That's like close. And um, once again, a fuck ton of sequels. 
I'm trying to think of like 80s movies that I could remember that would be. It's obviously this is the sequel, thing. which was 91. Yeah. Okay. Multiple, 91, multiple. I'm going to kick myself. If, I, if I give you now. one, you'll get it. Hold on. Same make, same model. New mission. New mission. People in the comments are screaming at you. <laughs> They're like, he's an idiot. They're like, Jay, <laughs> you kids are idiot. I'll go, all right, I'll give you. I'll get. Uh, same make, same model. New mission. I've got to try and. 80s, 90s. Because I'm because you've told me no cars. I just can't get I can't get past cars. Okay. You make a model. Uh, no, it's not. It's no, no. Think about model numbers are mentioned quite a few times. Right. If I say, I'm trying to give you not a direct quote. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Janelle, why is Wolfie barking? Oh, um. <gasps> I know, I know that quote. It's not even a, like a good quote. It's just no, one in the movie. But Wolfie's just. <sighs> Wolfie's not Wolfie. <laughs> Mate. Terminator 2. Terminator 2. <laughs> Do you know, I just was thinking about, I was going to say, why is Wolfie barking? And then it, her name popped into my head, like Janelle. I was like, oh, fucking brilliant. I look like a genius that I knew the character's the, his mum's name. It's Terminator 2. Yeah. yeah. Same mate, Terminator same model, two. new mission. I was like, what has got Wolfie in? What has got Wolfie in? What what, has and got what Wolfie was the dog's in? name? And then I see the meme. What was the dog's name? Um, I can't remember. I, I can't think it was remember. Max. You know, I thought Max, but I was like, no, Max is way think, too obvious. I think it was Max. Yeah, because the next fucking line is, your foster parents are dead. Yes. <laughs> your foster parents are dead. Yeah, it was Max. It was Max. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Janelle. <laughs> and he called it Wolfie. <laughs> oh, fucking, I'm just, I'm just too good. He is too good. That was a fun game. That was a fun game. Yeah. Enjoyed that. So it's your turn next week to figure out what yeah. you're going to test me with. It can be like audio. It could be like movie TV game, don't yep, be it. Don't, will, don't be a prick and pick together. fucking space games. Well, I've got to be. I've got to be tough with games because you like. I'm not as obviously. A, I know loads and loads of games. You are very much more. I'm probably more film than you, but yeah. you're definitely more game than me. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm going to try and do films. I think. <laughs> I think I'm going to try and do films. What I might do is I might do a snippet from an iconic sound not not sound effect like the music like the yeah, like one of the score want. songs whatever i think you want. whatever you want it means cutting together a load of film sounds but like i can do that i can do that well yeah we need to try and figure out yeah the way we're going to get it but yeah we can we can make it work we can make it work yeah i will figure that out um, i will figure that out so i don't want to go games because unfortunately I'll be saying things like, it's Super Mario 3. How could you not know from that advert? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah. Right. I think we've got one more. We, we do have one more thing. We, we, we've we yeah. had our first viewer question. Um, we did. We've run a little bit long today, but we'll get this done now. We've, yeah. um, we have we have a question from a viewer, a long-time listener. Long-time yeah. listener, first-time caller. Yeah, uh, fantastic. Fusey. Fantastic. We love Fusey. Um, he asked us a question, and the question is, what superpower... Do you have that no one else would want? Now, his example for himself was treading in dog shit. Whenever he goes out for a walk, it's almost a given that he will tread in dog shit. Right, I will Jay, answer yours? first. I have the uncanny ability. You know when you get like an uncomfortable silence, like say you're at a funeral or there's... Um, Please say it's the somewhere. fart. Please say it's the fart. Yeah. <laughs> I am fucking uncomfortable <laughs> he, silence. He is flatulent man. <laughs> I don't always do it, but you know when you go, oh no, oh no, I know it's going to be loud. Yeah, no. you can't even do the lift the no. bum cheek and just no. squeak one out. It's like, no. You're like, oh damn. <laughs> um, um, shit. It's Sorry. a, it's a code brown. Sorry. Code brown. <laughs> I've sharted. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Oh, sorry, sorry. And then. As a and then as you're done, it's like every step. Like, 
Oh, no. <laughs> it's running down the leg. Oh. <laughs> did you see? Sorry, did you see that apparently someone had such bad diarrhea on a plane? They had to turn back, land, and it took five hours to <laughs> clean the plane. Fuck, just burn it. Just fucking burn it. <laughs> Fuck Get that the shit. Get the <laughs> It's like, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a ten million dollar fucking Boeing seven four seven. Fuck it, just burn fuck, it down. <laughs> drive it into the fucking Grand Canyon. Fuck it, it's a write off. It's a write off. You ain't never getting done. that smell out. Done. That smell is, no, is that's embedded. Over. <laughs> what was your no. answer? What's your, okay. what's your uncanny superpower, mate? It's a painful one. It's a, and I spoke okay. to you about it earlier. I have the unwilling, uh, the unwitting ability. I don't even know what I'm like. I have the ability to laser in and full pelt welly every fucking thing with my toes in existence. I, I'm just, I'll be, I'll be walking down a corridor and I'll beeline and fucking kick a door frame. <laughs> like, I, you do not want to see my feet. They are no, disgusting. I've seen my, them. I have lost, times. I have lost. At numerous times, nails on both toes, um, including the other day where I was lifting a dining room table. I flipped the dining room table to adjust the legs. When I went to flip it back up, legs are in the air. I'm standing there. I've lifted it. The corner of the table has caught my toenail. And as I've pulled the table up quickly, it's ripped my toenail. My toenail sticking up in the air. I have a photo of it. I sent it to everyone. I was like, look at this. Um, And then I just pulled my toenail off and it was like, oh. oh. Oh, oh. Then, a couple yeah. of days ago, yeah. I uh, on Sunday, actually, it was after the football, Manchester United-Arsenal, um, I Won't managed... Won't talk about that. Won't no, talk about that. No. Uh, I'm a Manchester United <laughs> fan. Come at me. Fuck off. Um, I managed to... My bathroom door, I managed to literally, as if I was playing soccer, mm. welly the crap out of the door, and I now have two black toes on my right foot. Not broken. I can still wiggle them, but they are black. Um, I, I just yeah, I just have this unwanted ability. I bought myself. I hate Crocs. I think they look like like an abomination. You gave um, me such shit for my Crocs. It's unbelievable. I Come at bought me, Crocs, I right? Care. I bought Crocs for the main purpose of saving my feet. I've always said to the wife, unfortunately, and uh, uh, this is it's a it's a joke. It's a it's not a funny joke particularly. But I was at, like, if I get diabetes, that's it. I'm going to lose my feet. Because I, I am so terrible. I kick everything. My feet are terrible. I, I have size 12 to 13, 12 and a half, we call them feet, depending on the shoe manufacturer. Big feet. Um, you know that so means. big feet, big yeah, socks. big feet, big meat. I mean, yeah, socks. Um, um, yeah, big feet, adequately sized package. Um, so, um, I, but yeah, I have the ability to literally kick the shit out of everything um, and cause myself immense fucking pain. Um, yeah, so, but like I say, yeah, I bought Crocs and I've. I stupidly bought fucking fur-lined ones when it's four billion degrees. Um, <laughs> and these were here to save my toes. And it seems every time I don't wear these is when I boot something. And when I do wear these, I, I, I miss everything. Yeah, you can walk. You can I, walk. I, I, it, it, <laughs> like, yeah, it's fucking like, oh, it's, it's ridiculous. Oh, dear. So painful. <laughs> well, thank you for that question, Fusey. I hope you're happy and adequately uh, impressed with our answers. Uh, I do feel sorry for your trainers, being that they are consistently covered in dog shit. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably don't go to a funeral with me because it's going to be uncomfortable for everyone. And, and try probably and do hang around with, with me because it's probably highly amusing watching me hurt myself constantly. <laughs> so. Oh dear. Fun times, kids. Fun times. I hope you had fun with us. <laughs> um, we had fun. We always have fun, though, don't we, Teach? We have a lot. Um, what it's all about. It is what it's all about. Now, don't forget, you can catch us over on Twitch. Uh, I won't be on the kind of regular uh, schedule that TJ is. TJ, you can find on... Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday Fridays. Uh, hop past uh, eight make... on a Monday and Wednesday, 8 p.m. on a uh, Friday. Yeah, so you can catch him over there. Uh, don't forget that he will be having a charity event coming up in November, I think. Yeah, November, right? yeah. it's it's. I always do it for my uh, stream anniversary. It'll be three years on Twitch on November the 24th. Um, don't forget he's in the top 250,000 out of seven and a half million so apparently he's a man so. to watch apparently he's so. a man to watch um, I will be in the low 7.4 million um, <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to head over to our Twitter which is of course uh, un 
underscore filtered underscore pod. And of course, you can catch us over on uh, Instagram as well, unfiltered underscore idiots underscore pod as well. Um, and you can email us, which TJ will put the, the uh, email address in. I'll put all the, the links. links. I'll put all the links in the description. Um, That's it. If you give us a follow, help us grow. Uh, if you found us funny, give us a rate. Make us feel good about ourselves. And, uh, and feel free, that... leave, leave, leave questions in the comments. Yeah. And, uh, and like, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll answer some more uh, some questions live on, yeah. uh, on the pod. We're happy to do that. We're happy to bring your letters up and have a chat about things. Maybe you just want to call us a couple of uh, amazing waffles. fellows. Oh, oh, okay. You went a different direction to me. It'd go a little bit oh, of a okay. different route. And um, with that, I think we're at the end. So have fun, twat waffles. <laughs> See you later. See you later, cock wombles. <laughs> <laughs>